Go ahead. Uh, hello, everybody. And we are back. Um, got all the cool kids here. Artie, OPT lawyer. Uh, of course, a Marvel girl and Clifford Reynolds. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about uh, um, an old nemesis of mine, uh, Marilyn Spirit Level. Uh, she used to be known for uh, uh, pushing her shopping cart with billboards attached to it. Uh, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah. Let, let, let me finish. She <laughs> had a shopping cart with billboards uh, attached to either side, and she would go down the uh, the boardwalk where she lived uh, at the beach and scream at just random people about um, the earth being flat. Oh. So after my subscribers hounding her in her comment section, she finally agreed to debate me. Um, and so we had a debate on MC Tunes channel. And at the end of it, I finally realized after five, six, seven, I don't know how many flat earth debates that this whole flat earth thing just wasn't going anywhere. And, mm -hmm. um, I sort of rage quit flat earth at the end of that debate and said, you know, I'm just switching to first Amendment auditors and sovereign citizens. Um, I mean, there was really was, nothing left with flat earth, mm -hmm. right? Well, my quote was, there's no meat left on the flat earth bone. And I still uh, believe that to be true. Yeah. And so what happened subsequently was she disappeared. She totally ghosted YouTube for about a year or over a year. And then the other day, a subscriber emailed me and said, Marilyn Spirit Level's back. And I'm like, oh, cool. Let's see what kind of crazy stuff she's saying. She is back. But now she's a sovereign citizen, in addition to being a flat earther. <laughs> so oh, well, I mean, all the crazy stream. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and something I started watching her videos and I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna make a video about this lady, at, you know, and tie it into my other videos and all that. But some of the stuff she was saying was so insane uh legally. Like <laughs> I, I know enough to be able to look at it and say this isn't right. But I didn't know enough to say why. So I'm, I'm not well, sure we're going to know like why. I think it's just going to be rambling. But <laughs> right. But I, I had to call call for backup. So are oh, you muted? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I I was going to say if I I I've been around the block long enough that I may I might know the guru. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. You know, oh, but I may. Yeah. Uh, but we that, have that as, well. much, as much as I can be able to tell. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. Anyway, I I called for backup. We'll see what what we can do. So I got Artie and OPT here <laughs> to help me wade through this lake of crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a it's a it's an ocean. Can I just yeah, say I, I'm, I was, I'm the I was luckiest trying to be girl. Kind. Trying to be kind. Um. So let's. I guess without further ado, should we just wade into it? Yeah. Let's just yeah. go. Yeah. Right in. What would yeah. you like first? Her first video? Yeah, the first video after her um Okay. Like wandering in the desert, I guess is what she was doing. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But it was a nice little vacation from her crazy. All right. Um oof. I don't know how to... all right, I'll just try this one. I think she's That's the right one. All right. New you ready? Jersey, oh look PA. it's Oh wait, no. Two. I gotta redo that because I think I, I forgot to use the audio. That would help. If we heard it, I don't want to, but it was yeah, right. Yeah, here we go. There she is. Hello, my flat earth family. <sighs> so, I <laughs> made comments that uh, you are wondering where I've been. So, the whole of 2020, I was uh, helping a friend in need, and uh, also with COVID. There weren't any public events for me to go to anyway. So <laughs> Nobody to scream at. <laughs> very providential that uh, I was able to help my friend. And so I learned a lot. And there are two things that I am going to be making some videos on. Um, there are other flat earth people who are putting out good content. So uh I'm still doing that. But I still I still do understand that the Earth is a flat plane. We live on the inertial plane. Okay. But 
<sighs> these two other areas I'm going to go into. Oh, uh, here we go. Because I think it's very important that you yeah. both of these things. One is that parasites are causing most of the diseases we have. Mm. And uh, isn't that funny? Somebody just said, at least she's not COVID yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if you're a flat earther, that goes with the territory. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, like, just real quick, I, I am of the opinion that Flat Earth is the lowest common denominator when it comes to conspiracy theorists. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you can't go any further. If I you're lost audio. Earther, I can't hear anything. Oh, God. Oh, boy. If, I was going to say, if you're a Flat Earther, I just assume that you're also, also anti-vax, reptilian believer, mm -hmm. uh, as well as a uh, sovereign citizen. Like, Look at I'll, I'll assume it. Look at Flat Earth Walker. Yeah. He's, ev he's everything. All right. Yep, um, turned into everything. Should we, should we wait for Schrodinger to get back? Probably. Um, I mean, I I guess it is his channel. It's, but... it's kind of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can take over the show. It's fine. Nah, just play it. Oh, How you wait. doing, Schrodinger? Can you hear us? Bitch. Oh <laughs> damn it, he's back. <laughs> oh <laughs> crap. Can you hear us? No. Okay, let me stop sharing for a second. No. Sorry. Can you no, hear I us? I was wanting to watch that. I can't believe we have to wait now. I know. Schrodinger, Schrodinger. If you don't come back, we're going to sing. No, no. Oh, geez. I promise I won't. Top <clears throat> tier live streaming production. I mean, this it's not me. It's not the production. It's the guy. Rivals <laughs> anything I put out. Okay. I can always. hear you now. There we go. Yay. It just it, it just stopped. Like all uh, mid sentence when she was saying her crazy, it just nothing. Right, Your well, computer was trying to help you. Yeah, maybe <laughs> it was protecting you. I'm trying to save you from yourself. Trying to save you from what's about to happen. The pl plugging in headphones fixed it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, could... I, I don't know why. You're so anti headphone. Can I just ask you a question? No. Why are you so <laughs> against you wearing the shirt? We're wearing what shirt? Our shirt. I don't have it with me. You didn't bring it with you. Maybe I did. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my you were home and you didn't wear it and now you're not wearing it here. I I don't know. Like oh. leave me alone. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't know why I bother. Jesus. I try so hard. I hope this shirt company's better than the ones that made your shirts, Marvel. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. good. Here we go. Detoxing and Getting rid of parasites. Oh, God. Cure many of your ills. So I don't know if you heard it, Schrodinger, but she's a COVID idiot. Oh, no, no. I've, I've already watched these. Yeah, yeah, I already know all that. Okay. She, she's a she's an omni conspiracy theorist, yeah. which that, yeah, a lot of flat earthers true. are. But yeah, well, yeah. While while you were away, I was just saying, like, I feel like uh, flat Earth is the lowest common denominator. If you're a flat earther, I just assume you buy into everything else. Right. Comes yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like you have to be everything else first, um, but because I know a lot of sovereign citizens who who block flat earthers in their comment section, thinking that flat earthers are psyop, like not even the oh, yeah, wow. no, no, not even not even the sovereign not even the sovereign sits like a lot of flat earthers. Like, <laughs> so would they, you say it's a gateway flat earth? The gateway? It's conspiracy? like no, no, no. no. It, I it's actually the, think that flat earth it, is a conclusion. Yeah, okay. it's it's the okay. it's the it's heroin. Yeah, it, the it's heroin. it's the yeah it's the heroin of conspiracy theories. Like you have to do everything else to get to there. Oh, so yeah. you're, you're open up to you're open to conspiracy theories in the first place, and then it's like, hey, everybody's lying about the shape of the Earth because reasons. Yeah, you're you're a thirty third degree flat earther, uh, <laughs> or thirty third degree conspiracy theorist. Is yeah, the no, nine the do they is make? It, I was gonna say. Uh, sorry, Clifford. Uh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry, I was gonna ask: Is the nine eleven conspiracy the pot of the uh, conspiracy? I think then? so. Yeah, I actually think so. Yeah. I, that uh, and JFK. Nine, JFK and nine eleven are and like you know what's his face? I um, Roosevelt allowed Pearl Harbor to happen. Right. The, that's I've like never heard sauce. that one. What? What? Yeah, well, that that's uh, a old well, that's, school. Yeah, that's an old school. I've, theory. Ne I've wow. never looked into that. Wow. Yeah, no, okay. Either. Yeah. But the, but those are those are weak sauce. That's that's all a borderline mainstream compared to to this. Yeah. Right. Oh, sad. It's funny because 
I was listening to there's this one guy that he is just over the top racist, like openly um, just kill whitey type of guy that I watch his stuff just for comedic relief. And then I was listening to him today when I was out grilling and he said, uh, that a lot of this, a lot of people would just understand this if they would just understand that the earth is flat and stationary. And I'm like, you gotta be like on top of everything else. Like he's a flat earther. Of course he is. Right. So, but yeah, let's get back to the topic at hand, I guess. We'll go down a lot of rabbit trails here. Okay, here we go. And when I go into that in some other videos, you will see. The other thing is uh, the repatriation. Uh, corporations have been ruling our country. Yeah. All the governments are incorporated, which means they are not the law of the land. They are the law of the sea. Corporations <laughs> oh, exist God. in maritime law. <laughs> this is why uh, the, the judges in the tell courts, me they say that this is their courtroom because it's just like a captain of a ship. Oh God. So they yeah, are not do, do, do you, uh, Just to... pause. I, I don't, I think this is your wheelhouse more than anybody else already. Um, uh, if, I'm already getting heavy, heavy David Windmiller vibes. If, if you want to talk about why they're not maritime courts, then I, I mean, that would I, be great. I, I could, but I will just simply say the reason why I'm already saying it's David Windmiller he is very, very, very uh, heavy. Not set aside the quantum syntax grammar. He's very, very, very heavy into the uh, analogies and co uh, compare and contrast of courtrooms, documents, filings, and you know shipping and sailing and maritime, you know analogs. Right. So he's very, very into the, making that connection. And the fact that she's going this deep into it. Tells me she's a David Wynn Miller adherent, but uh, really I know would... that she's an Anna von Wright's uh, adherent. Somebody else also mentioned that too. She may also yeah. be going into Anna von Wright's. Yeah, no, she's well. right from her. She her from her web, website. She sends yeah. people to Anna's website. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, and I have um, we downloaded uh, Anna's um, welcome video to the website mm -hmm. and i've got i've got all the all the documents that she's talking about that she's filling out here in this video are straight from that website and i went and found like the database of them and downloaded a bunch of them yeah so I, that we can look at about them right <laughs> or, and, and they're just a load of crazy so can yeah she said, two she of said, those? Oh, sorry I, I just well, i would love to be the guy at the irs that got the one that she sent to the irs that said um, hi, um, I'm not paying taxes anymore. <laughs> like, what do you think that he was like? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've honestly yeah. asked, asked myself who, which department gets the most insane <laughs> correspondence, like the white house or the IRS. I'm feeling that it's, I feel honestly feel like it's a toss up. I, uh, but I would say the white house, but I imagine the IRS what about gets the most insane things. No, I would say the IRS. I, I think the IRS because the there's a financial incentive there. Yes, the yeah. IRS, the White House, and probably like the Pentagon or or the FBI or CIA. Yeah. No, the CIA. Excuse me, the CIA. They probably. probably get the most mm. insane correspondence from their fellow that. Americans. Or yeah. the the FBI with people reporting, like mm. all this nonsense. Because how many First Amendment auditors have you seen get arrested and they say? I'm going to report this to the FBI. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so there, there's that. But and anyway. also telling them to stop following him. Yeah. <laughs> like, like that one guy targeted citizen, his channel. Yeah. Like he's constantly calling the FBI saying to make the helicopters go away. I so. would love the job of having to deal with this. though. I would love reading some of that. I oh, would, no. I would just want to answer the phone. Like if they would just let me like, you answer the phone for these calls. Like it, it, if somebody calls them with something crazy, they just transfer them to Around me. It. Yeah. But I'm allowed to toy with them mm -hmm. and maybe even like put it on my channel, like just eight uh, hours a day. Please of, be careful what you wish for. Uh, yeah. But right. uh, <laughs> do you know how many trillions of, I would have more subscribers than there are people on earth. 
Probably. Well, like, but you're you're putting in a lot of preconditions that I don't think they would allow you to do. Oh, no, no they, 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 they wouldn't. This is, this is a pipe dream. But imagine if they did. Like, if the government just got a sense of humor and was just like, okay, all the crazies Go we're going to send over to Cliff. Yeah. yeah. You know, and just, just let, let Cliff talk to him for eight, eight hours and be like, like, I would just be in the background. I would have like a fake keyboard that didn't, wasn't attached to anything. And I would just be like, <laughs> I'm taking it down. I'm, I'm taking your report, you know. Yeah. There's gonna there's gonna be a SEAL team there in five minutes. <laughs> I would I would literally if they if I could do that from my house, like just answer all the the correspondence and stuff. I would do it twenty four seven. They wouldn't have to pay me. I would love it. It would be fun. It'd but be let's so get back. Fun. All right, here we go. Look look at the look on her face. Like imagine you, you, her teaming up with Anna. Her and Anna together. No. Who? common law or the law of the land. So you are not going to get justice there. You are not going to have rights. When it's out on the sea, the captain is just like a king. And we are not told this. It is brought upon us by fraud. So you then need how to did get you figure it out? out of maritime law. And how can they do that? It's a really wild ride and you can experience I bet it is how they've yeah. done this um, I will be s submitting other <laughs> videos on this subject oh, but thank I God wanted you to be in on me signing my paperwork to become a true American watch this shit land. this is hilarious so true uh, I'm going to show you some of these things and uh, the first thing I had to do was get my witness testimony oh that okay. uh, i had two of my friends and they are they are signed underneath these papers here i'm going to protect their privacy but this is part of becoming a true american you have to have your witnesses that you are who you are i'm also going to be submitting my birth certificate and a uh, driver's license for identification only you can submit i other forms of ID. So this is the one that I am going to be signing today. And I want you to make sure that you read this. So I'm going to get you a good full shot here and take a screenshot of this and read it because I am going to be signing it. <laughs> Do you want me I to wish go I could, to uh, that? Yeah, can you yeah it let's bring screen? it up. I can, I can barely, uh, I'll go just to barely the, read um, it. I'll bring the actual document up. Which one yeah, is we, it? Yeah. The Declaration of Naturalization well, Act of 1770, 1776. There's three of them, though. Like three, right, which three one? documents titled the same thing. All right, I got it. Declaration of Naturalization. Got it. Yeah. So it's funny because she's just like, oh, screenshot it. Like she couldn't yeah. be bothered to just put it in the description box, like a link to it. Right. <laughs> How lazy are you, lady? Here we okay, go. I got it. I got it. Uh, okay, perfect. Oh, that's perfect. That's, Who wants to read one. it? So already, well, the, uh, the, the title itself to begin with, how is this an, an act? I don't know. It's... it's <laughs> 1779 the war is still going on at this time right we don't even have a congress to make it an act <laughs> at this no, point well, all we have is a continental congress at this point yeah i mean well, actually not even i don't even know i don't think we had that, that at that point did we they had the first con they had the first continental congress right that, that that made the declaration but i mean i assume that they were still like a a a body controlling the revolutionaries during the war right right mm -hmm. but they didn't have any lawful power at this time. Right. At this point, they sure as shit weren't natural uh, naturalizing people. No, like <laughs> that's not even a thing back then. Oh my god! No, it wasn't. Okay, I declare that I am the owner and operator of my vessels on Earth from the moment <laughs> my zygote first formed, <laughs> together with all DNA and all substance matter in any way associated with me and my incarnation. Does that? mean her waist as well i don't and I, yeah, further, apparently. and I further declare that i accept my divine origin and all honor right title and material interests i am owed oh so pa pause just for a second we didn't know what a zygote or dna was and 
1779. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, exactly. I don't think there was sort of things at that point, but... <laughs> right. Go ahead, sorry. I, 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 I declare my political status as an American state national born within the physical borders of... Born, insert state here. Uh, which state? Um, there was no states at this point. There were only the, the 13 colonies. Yeah, right. Colonies. So, so you outside of the thir even if you want to entertain that the 13 colonies would be qualified under this, none of the other states would qualify this if we're going by this 1779 act. So, if you were in Idaho, you're you're fucked. Uh, <laughs> uh, I declare under penalty of perjury <laughs> under the public law of the United States of America, which hasn't been formed at this point, right? And from without the United States and without the and with and from without the United States and without the United States of America territories, we didn't have any territories, mm -mm. that I reject, renounce, and remove all powers of attorney granted by me or issued under my name prior to this day. Uh, I'm sure I mean, you don't have any. You, I mean, you don't need to go to the Naturalization Act of 1779 if you want to rescind uh, somebody's power of attorney over you. Yeah, but right, you just do it. Yeah, you just do it. <laughs> you just do it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God! I de revoke. Done. I declare under penalty of perjury under the public law of the United States of America and from without the United States and without the United States of American territories, and I reject, renounce, and remove any and all allegiance to any king or prince, any foreign state, foreign government, flag or thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. This ends with thing. I declare under penalty of perjury under the public law. Okay. Moving on. That I have never knowingly, willingly, and voluntarily pledged myself to any incorporated entity at all, including but not limited to any incorporated church, synagogue, mosque, or temple. Great. Oh, all right. Still wondering uh, what that means for us. Yeah. Uh, uh, I declare, yada, 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 that I have never knowingly, willingly, or voluntarily pledged myself to any foreign sovereign or separated, separated myself from my birthright political status. I, well, I mean, your birthright political status would be your citizenship. So, are you citizens? Are so are? I don't know what this is saying. And it keeps saying it says, under penalty of perjury. If this document works, then who would be able to even hold you under penalty of perjury? Uh -uh, yeah, if yeah. you were being untruthful, because you're yeah. not making you're you're here declaring yourself as not non allied to anything, right? Right. Yeah. So who would hold who would hold Herself. you in contempt? Yeah, that or their court they make up. Yeah, I declare, publish, and affirm under penalty of perjury uh, that my house is established in. Wait, so she wrote this down, and she, she put in Clark County and Nevada, but she forgot to put in the Bourne State up at the top? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Clark County, my home is in Nevada, and no other presumption or impersonation is allowed. I declare under the aforementioned penalties that I'm a lawful inheritor, landlord, keeper, and guardian of the rightful and lawful government of this country. <laughs> what? I think uh, the full right, authority, responsibility, and honor, now and always, while my tenure is on Earth Is she a country last. under herself? I think but so. No, I um... No, a Anna von Reitz has created a government that she thinks oh. supersedes the U.S. government. She's the one that created these documents. Oh. Um, and oh. she says that they are the rightful government. Uh, we, we can play her... Um, like the Moors think they are. Yeah. So everybody's claiming. In, in her little welcome video, she talks about how they're the rightful government. Oh my god. Of the Which, US. This de declaration is valid, true, and correct, and complete in all jurisdictions of law, air, land, and sea. What does those even fucking mean? Right. Yeah. Excuse who, me. Who, could this be taken as a declaration of war on America? No. Because no. if they're the saying thing, I'm the, the rightful. Thing, the okay. only thing this might do is a, attempt to renounce your citizenship, but I think yeah. there's more you have to do for that. That's that. that you have that's to actually the, leave. That, well, that, that's the closest thing you can get to, but there, it's more than just leaving. But yes, leaving is part of it, but there is actually a process of, mm -hmm. you know, taking yeah. away your citizenship. Yeah. Part of which is also the government's like, we want, you want the last ounce of taxes you may owe to us before you're allowed to renounce your citizenship. Right. But that's another discussion anyway. But that's the closest analog. This is, this is all bullshit because it contradicts itself in every other paragraph. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Yes. It really so does. So uh, I'm not. I don't even need to bother reading the rest of it. But yeah, this is just batshit insanity, because but, again, as we know, just from the very top of the title, 
There's no, there's not, there's no act oh, here. There's no, I, there's no governing authority here that could enforce this. I remember now, I looked into this a little bit. They, she says in the approved by the Nevada Assembly, like every state has an right. assembly that they think like literally supersedes everything. Like it's, huh. it's every state according to them. And they have like, like so I looked up Ohio's reps. and they have like, I don't know, like five people in it or something. Yeah. I don't but, know. So, but Nevada didn't exist in 1779. <laughs> but let's get back to her wow. video because yeah, she says back. she says a lot of things in here that contradict like other sovereign citizens. Oh, like geez. she she says that you have to sign it in blue ink. I've never heard that before. No. Yeah, it's normally like a, a red thumbprint. Red. That represent yeah. Blood. Yeah. I've okay, never so heard blue ink, so I don't know where she got blue ink. But yeah, let's go back to her crazy. Uh, jumping around today. Here we go. Back to Crazy Lady. Let me see. What what was that? I did have another one that I signed. Oh, good for you. Hold on a second. Yeah, no, I like was prepared ready for before. this story, for this video, and I didn't bother editing any of this out. Yeah. <laughs> they lady, never do, do they? I know. Organized and you're not really. Yeah, the voice How do you not literally have a document you signed in front of you when you're making a video about it? Right. Her, her voices didn't remind her. Yeah, apparently. Well, here's something. I do have a blank one of these. That I didn't see. Oh, God. There's another one. Which one's this one? So that I don't know. There is that, and it. That's the one that you have to deal. put the, um, like the um, passport picture on. Do you want me to get that one up now or later? Um, I guess later, because let let's let her talk. Okay, that. all right. Information that you need to fill out. So, I'm going to sign this. And I'm going to sign it. Where is it? Uh, By all means, name? take your time. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to sign it not on the line because I don't know where to sign things. No, I'm just going to sign. She's shattering this. Yeah, she is. Like that other guy, that new guy. <laughs> That already had on the other day. Right. Marilyn the Antide. I'm going to. And there you have this. it. And <laughs> you should be doing this as well. So, like I said, I'm going to be making other videos and helping you to become a true American <laughs> on the soil, on the land. On the soil. Um, here is a website that you. What if can you live in a houseboat? Oh my! Oh. Okay. Yeah, the you white stars your, and stripes. Yep. Huh? Okay, so I now I now where you were, know what you're talking about. They have these people who LARP uh, uh, themselves as members of Congress and or members of Assembly in the various states. Right. They they just they just get together and live action role play as uh, uh, state assemblymen, and they also have the ci the 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 civil flag of the United States, the true flag of the United right. States, apparently. Yeah, that's where I got all these documents, uh, all the templates for them. I, I, I guess now would be a good time. Um, I don't even know what OPT you mean by like mean. civil yeah. flag. I, I think I think I, I mentioned that to you in the chat and in, in our Discord that 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 was the only thing I, I saw. You know, Ernie the Mountain Man had yeah. it draped around him. A lot of them refer to this mm -hmm. flag mm -hmm. as being like the true flag. Yeah. And the, what I'm able to what I was able to to find out is that. You know, in the olden days, which again, these guys love to go to archaic uh, norms and customs, mm -hmm. their uh, uh, ships would have two forms of flags of their home nation. One, uh, one would be a slight alteration of the of uh, the other. It's meant it was intended. The civil flag was intended to denote themselves as civilian ships rather than a oh. military ship or, or um, a war vessel. So. Mm -hmm. Then I believe England had one, you know, Great Britain had one, France had one, 
and it would have you know some sort of alteration of the flag that we we you and I would all know that would be representation of of, a, of civilians versus the representation of a state or gotcha. a military. So but, they say that this is the American civil flag or peacetime flag and that the flag, the stars and stripes that we all know is supposedly the wartime or, you know, military flag. But that's bullshit anyway, because maritime law applies to military and civilians alike. Mm -hmm. So there goes that argument. But I guess now is a good time to watch uh, Anna Von Wright's um welcome video to her insane website where okay. Marilyn got all this nonsense if you uh, got that ready okay. no i don't um, okay all right keep talking then, uh, i got it where did you give it to me i'm sorry you downloaded it remember you downloaded it um i sent you the link it's on her site and okay. you downloaded it oh, i guess radical yeah. Had, yeah right thank you all right uh you keep talking and i'll get it sorry i, I forgot okay. that i had to use it um, well, shit. How's, every, how's, how's everybody doing? <laughs> oh my I, God. I had my fourth cycle of Kemp on Monday. Yeah, talk about that. Yeah. I mean, it's not much to talk about. It's a two hour infusion at the site, and then uh, they attach a pump to my chemo port over here, and then I take it home for 46 hours and then bring it back. Um, so I get chemo technically injected into me for about 48 hours. Um, that sounds like fun. I mean, the pump's not too, like, you don't even notice it. I mean, other than the fact that it's attached to you, but it's, it comes in like this fanny pack. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, doesn't really like hurt or anything like that. And you don't really notice it. The tubing's long enough so you can hang it on something and go to bed. So, okay. I think I don't need to leave it in my bed, thankfully. Yeah. You don't want to roll over on it. Exactly. Can y'all see that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. No. No, that's not that's not Anna. Wait, no. No, it's not. That's the welcome message you gave me. Well, shit. Yeah, sorry. Hold on, let me see if I can. Here yeah. it is, right here. Watch right, video. Send me another one. All right, hold that's on. That's the only welcome message I have. I was actually going to get a shirt with a semicolon on it since I, you know, had colon surgery. Oh my god, that is too funny. <laughs> well, then I find out that the semicolon is actually like an anti-suicide um, <gasps> uh, message. Because uh, the the, col the semicolon denotes that the sentence doesn't stop. Oh yeah, that's oh. cool. It was yeah, it was but, pretty awesome. When I saw it. I f okay. But I got if, it. if you if you did get that T-shirt, you would have to cite me because I'm the first person that came up with that joke. <laughs> so there's that. Oh really? I, I would need I royalty. I don't think so because I told my friends that like before I had my surgery. Okay. Ah shit. Yeah. I, I, well, I thought I was. Yeah, because I remember close. when he you said a, he thinks he's everything. So I thought I was being hilarious. He was like, I, they, they, they took part of my colon, and I was like, oh, that means you have a semicolon. Mm -hmm. I thought no, I was I, being really clever. You God were. Damn it. I mean, you were. You were. You were very clever. I just thought of it sooner. It's all. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> all right. Okay, yeah, we got, we got it. it on screen. There, there it is. Right. The, yeah. Get uh, get ready for. Uh, Face palm protection, everybody. Get Even ready. More like crazy. We haven't already. Okay. No, no, more crazy. Okay. Yes. The original crazy. Assembly is a gathering of the states of the union, the actual states of the union. Is there more? Wait, here, let me go back. Assembly no, that's is it. a gathering of the states of the union, the actual states of the union that are geographically defined. Now, most of us, have always thought of our states that way, but it's not the only way to think of states. There are, for example, states of states, which are not geographically defined. What does that even mean? I don't know. I want to draw that distinction for you right now, right here. We're talking about the geographically defined states of the union, and that is what we are assembling. We're assembling the actual people, the living, breathing people, of the different states to create the state government of the people. This hasn't been done in 150 years. We do know how to do it. We do know what's correct. 
No, you don't. And it's of great importance that we do this now and take control of situations that have gotten out of hand. So my first message to those coming to this website is this is a website that is devoted to assembling the actual, factual, geographically defined states of the union. And it is a job that can only be accomplished by living, breathing people acting as, as lawful opposed persons. to what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? Now, what's a lawful person as opposed to a legal person? Yeah, okay. A corporations. lawful person yeah. is essentially your doing business name that you are given by your parents when you first enter this world. So it's your trade name. It's the name trade that you name. grew up with as a child in grade school, upper and lower case, first, middle, last. That's your lawful person. And we are gathering the lawful persons, which together as a group are known as the people of each state. And I want you to also recognize that it is the people of each state who are represented in the national constitutions. So you are organizing the people of the state in order to enforce the constitutions and to conduct business, which has to be done. It's a very serious As opposed to the business that doesn't have to be done. Now we get the feeling she's just stringing words together at this point. <laughs> it is, yeah. Identified as US citizens of one start or another, you will need to do some paperwork of and course. you will need to reclaim your birthright political status and your heritage as American state citizens or American state nationals. Now, <clears throat> wait a minute. Okay, so what? now I think I understand what they're what they're okay. trying to say. Cool. What they're I think what both she and what Anna von Rice is trying to say is they want to re relinquish any sense of U.S. United States citizenship. They want to revert themselves only to being state citizens. Right. Yeah. That's my understanding here. That's and, a, uh, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. But they think that their state citizenship is different than a normal, like, like I'm a, a citizen of Virginia. Right. But their Virginia government is separate from the actual Virginia government that we yes. know. Right. Um, and just... For everybody's uh, any anybody who's watching that isn't aware of this lady, she claims that she is a a, a practicing judge in Alaska. Mm -hmm. And spite of the fact that nobody in I, I tried myself to there's there's a database that says here's all the judges in Alaska. I mean, all you have to do is like search an attorney because you have to be an attorney to be a judge. It's right. Sure. Yeah, and I I did all that and. <laughs> No matter how many times people ask her, like, where where are your chambers? Where do you practice? Uh, where Where's your courtroom? Can we come see your courtroom? She won't answer those questions, but she continues to say that she's the judge in Alaska. I mean, Vir Virgo Triad went, uh, went and put in a deep went dive deep on, on it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> to expose Anna Von Wrights and figure out that she's she's full of shit. So, right. Um, yeah, I've uh, Virgo went really deep on her on her uh, history and has called out a lot of her sycophants who who are convinced. Like yeah, like Mars. I've already had the talk with that guy before. Oh, you who did? Is, yeah, I did. I actually had, ended up having the talk with um, Mars one to one about his his obsession with Anna and how much Oof. he thinks she's right. Um, Virgo wasn't able to get through to her. I wasn't able no. to get through to him. Uh, but she it gets is into it is. tears. He cries over her. Yeah, it, it's insane. Like, no matter how some people, no matter how much you show them the evidence, they just dig in deeper. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So there, there's some. Well, what's the saying that you can't be logicked out of a position that you didn't logic yourself into? <laughs> That's a good one. And so, yeah. So I, I think that's the problem with these people is they're, they're emotionally invested in it and nothing is going to nothing's going to make them change their mind. No, like, I think she could tell them that she was full of shit and they'd be like, nope. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't usually feel sorry for any of them, but I do feel sorry for him because he's that crazy for her. It's like the people that um, I, I saw this interview with a nurse who was treating people with the thing that we don't talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That don't believe it's real. Mm. And as they are dying. Um, wow. She's begging them to uh, please call your family, you know, um, you know, say, say goodbye, do these things. And they're like, no, nah, I'm going to be fine. It's oh like, my you're, God. you're dying. I'm watching you die from this thing that we don't talk about. And they, they, you can't get through to them. Even that's how deeply invested some people are in their conspiracy theories. <clears throat> That's, mm -hmm. sad. That's so sad. It is. So I, I, th th I guess she's a little bit boring. Should we just go back to Marilyn, who's at least? Well, it's good to show who we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It, so, we, yeah. Got, we at least got a little bit of a taste of what we're. Yeah. What the underlying guru is involved yeah. yeah. here. Yeah, she, we, we got the word salad from her. Yeah, Anna is Anna von Reitz is the typhoid Mary of this brand of stupid. There you go. Yeah, and yeah. she. She's been patient. around doing this damage for a while too. Yeah, she's she's patient zero, and she's her her nonsense has sent people to jail. People that oh follow god, her. more that, than a few, more than a few. Yeah, hundreds of people at least. Yeah, so, yeah. Sure. I mean, she's worth watching to find out what to stay away from, or just the history of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Y'all yeah. so, run it for a second. I'm gonna be AFK, but I guess okay. let's get back to Marilyn and her nonsense. Yeah, let's get so back to Marilyn. Run this or run Marilyn? Which one? Marilyn. Marilyn. Okay. Marilyn. Stop this. Go back As you're bringing that up, I was mm -hmm. I did a, a really quick uh, search, and the closest flag I could see that's that the U.S. officially adopts is the that matches this so supposed civil flag is the ensign of the Coast Guard, and and the Coast Guard of the U.S. Customs and Border Enforcement. The similarities is that they both have the uh, the vertical red and white stripes, but uh -huh. but both the Coast Guard and Customs have the uh, the eagle symbol, not not the stars, on uh, where they're supposed to oh, be. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks. So it's still completely like far off from what they. It's, claim. it's and that's what I was like. It's the absolute closest that i can find that's a that's officially in use in in the u.s oh okay so should i run it yep yep why do they put the stripes the other way does anybody know uh, or no i mean i could probably find out the history of at least the vertical blue and uh, red stripes because that's actually is part of the ensign flag of the uh, customs and border enforcement and the coast guard and the coast guard's predator um predecessors the uh, revenue marine i could i could find that out but that's the literally the only similarity between that and this nonsense that we're looking at <laughs> hmm. yeah. i don't understand why i think changing a word or a flag changes everything you know what i'm saying like if they add a syllable or just say it different or change the word completely that changes the law well, like as I said um, in a Discord, I think um, the reason I, I think that these people have to define words specifically, like you know, police, policy enforcer, things like that, is because if they use the real definitions, their arguments just die. Right. So they have to make crap up in order to keep their logic or keep their arguments in like alive. Because if they I'm, use real definitions, they they would die quickly. That makes sense. I've never understood the argument that a word sounds like another word, therefore it's the basis. Yeah, mm -hmm. like like they say that an airplane, p l a n e, is like a plane, p l a i n, yeah, or whatever. Therefore, the Earth is flat. Like yeah. what? <laughs> like how, how do you? It's even... It's not aerosphere. Yeah. Or it's horizon. That means yeah. horizontal. Right. Oh, yeah. It flies in the work. air. It flies in the air over a plane, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But I mean, I, I know those are different examples than sovereign citizen examples, but Police they do the same policy. thing. Yeah. Policy, police. 
you know, they're policy enforcers. Like, just listen to the word police. So, yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. States coordinator, and that person will help you to get started. You no, they won't. Email I emailed my state they will coordinator. Send you back information. No, they won't. I emailed and my you state can start coordinator. By doing that, and I'm going to be going over that information, and it would be really great if you were to. I want to email my state coordinator. Send right. Me some questions in the comments of the videos that I make, then you can, uh, then we can get them answered. I probably should have done it from my these regular account instead of the Schrodinger's cat account. Probably. And yeah, like just showing you the information you. and how to access this information. It's a very scary thing. You think, <laughs> yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> well, they're going to come after me. Yeah. Well, they can't <laughs> because we do have legitimate standing. No, you, you know, don't. No, you don't. Uh, <laughs> You can't ask what the word means. The, on the sea and on the land. Well, because they have these high water marks, and they that's just not say, how well, that. No, that's not it. How must how be that low works. tide. What? <laughs> I mean, so, really, what? They are saying so and, crazy and, and, stuff and stuff like that. So pause, they're going to do anything. That so she just said that the reason that they can claim the law of the sea on land is because of high water marks. So what if like Tina, you live in near or near Denver, that you you don't have a high tide that high that you're no. getting no. If we did, then half the country would be gone. <laughs> At least. So <laughs> that argument is so stupid. Like if you live where I live, then I guess you could say that a lot of the city is like it could potentially flood. So you could have a high water mark that covers most of the city, but that's only a tiny bit of the entire country. Mm -hmm. Like that, that argument is so stupid. I wonder if she made that up or if they told her that. Who told her that she made most of this up. Oh no, wait, uh, she, Anna no, made most of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if, if Marilyn made that up or if she got it from the website that, it's just like, oh, at high tide, like the entire country's underwater. That's why they can. That's so stupid. Oh, geez, these people. All right. They can. Sorry. To keep this fraud going. So, all right. Thanks for listening, and I shall see you soon. Yeah, in ten minutes, because she does another one. Hi. Right. All right. Let me get the other one. Oh, Hi. look at look at the crazy lady face. <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy. Uh. She's bonkers. I made a video about her probably two and a half, three years ago, where I likened her to the uh, crazy cat lady from The Simpsons. Yeah. And I, I played a, a little clip of the crazy cat lady, just like when she would uh, get mad and she would just throw her cats at people. Like that was the weapon, that, her weapon of choice. Oh, okay. I, don't want, I don't, don't watch it. Um, so. If you want me to show any of the documents, let me know, okay? Yeah, I guess as as she does them, if if we have them in our right. repertoire, then we'll we'll look at well, them. There's something here now, so we'll see. I'm not here sure which one go. this one is. This is more paperwork that I'm going of to be course, signing. This yeah. is a letter to the Internal Revenue Service <laughs> that I am oh my not God. going to be paying. Uh, income taxes anymore. <laughs> that, that just works, I'm sure. Uh, hey, you know what? At least it's short and sweet for the uh, the recipient. Yeah. All right. If, if that does work, let me know because I paid I paid fifty thousand dollars in federal tax last year. So <laughs> if you if you can if this works, then I'm getting a a, a Dodge uh, Challenger Hellcat. So just just saying, there's incentive in it for me if it works. If if this works, you're getting me a Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Uh, we'll get matching ones. There you go. <laughs> Cha ching. There is another one to a different address, and I'm a holding them address. here just so you can see. And I'm going to it. sign them. And this is my common carry declaration for my. Sidearm. You got that. <laughs> oh, so, sidearm. Uh, that's oh, no. that's the one that's going to send you to jail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's the one. Yeah. 
Oh, so no. she doesn't think she needs okay. a permit. Because we're in guess... this contract. The last I heard she lived in Pennsylvania. Can you repeat what blue, she... Blue yeah, means she, contract. She said blue, blue means, means contract. contract? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what she said. That makes zero sense. There you go. Now, in, in, when I was in the military, and as far as I know, all government exclusively uses black ink. When I sign my mortgage, I use black ink. Yeah, like in the military, we couldn't use anything other than than black ink, except like so certain things. Like if you were the CO of the command, then you would have a different color just to denote that you were the CO, and then the, like the XO would have a different color. Mm -hmm. But as as a rule, like if you're writing something like this, going to go in your service jacket or anything. You can you can't do blue ink or red ink or any of that. It's exclusively black ink. So I don't I don't know where she got blue uh, uh, from. I mean, like, like my judge and most of the judges in my courthouse will use blue simply to denote this is the original. But th that's right, it. It's right, not like you, you can't have to. copy it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you have to. They just do it because yeah, that's the it, thing. Because if you yeah. copy it, it'll be black. Exactly. Yeah, in in right. most, yeah, I would say in most written documents that i've seen it's usually you must write in e either blue or black ink yeah but you actually right. don't really accept red ink unless a, in a limited very limited circumstances most most ceos when i was in the military they would write in gold ink and then the xo would write really? in That's yeah I mean, no yeah you you can get a, a, a ink pen that writes in like uh, metallical yeah yeah not not real gold but, right. uh, yeah, I know. I'm just wondering if it was metallic, like blue. Yeah, yeah. Gold. The, the color is gold, and then a lot of um, executive officers. So the what what they would call in movies the first mate. Um, what his signature would be in silver. Hmm. So that's how you would know that it. Uh, again, that it's the original. Hmm. Right. Interesting. Yeah. All right. More crazy. As it's written here. I really hope she's not in New Jersey if she's signing this. She's, she's, I think she's like in Pennsylvania. The, okay, Pennsylvania. Okay, yeah. I knew I knew she was in she I knew she was in southeastern Penn, uh, either southeastern Pennsylvania or New Jersey because yeah. I know she's done a flat earth events in New Jersey before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know she's been in Connecticut as well, so that's why I wasn't sure. Yeah, I, I think she's she's near Philly. Does anybody know if that's um an open carry state? No, Pennsylvania is not an open carry state. No, so it's not. This is not going to work. Okay, good. No, it's it's going to get her locked up. Okay, good. Good to know. Which is really the only thing that these gurus are good for. Getting you locked up. It's yeah. yeah. getting you locked up. I'm going to send this yeah. off to the assembly. If you are not using the assembly, it's really a shame because you won't be part of the government that is already established of course, and God. we are filling spots in the pennsylvania government taking you're applications LARPer. okay so it is pennsylvania but you're larping yep you're yeah. larping it's like Go. it sounds like they put a help wanted sign out filling yeah. spots yeah yeah we should we should all and sign we'll up and and, and oh take my god! Well, that's the other thing too. It, if this is supposed to be, you're not even democratically elected. You're you're yeah. just signing up. Who who decides whether you're going to be a proper representative of, of the Pennsylvania Assembly? What's exactly. the salary? Like how how much am I going to get paid? Pay? I thought it was a volunteer thing. No, well, I don't know. If it's even, a, if it's a full time spot, I mean they kind of got to. My yeah, point I is. Think so. My point is, even if, even assuming our Uendo that that this is this is not paid or whatever, it's a voluntary. I don't I don't care who. Ha, you're only elected based on what filing an application, and then somebody right. higher up decides you. That's Apparently, kind of like a dictatorship, an authoritarian yeah. uh, government, if right. you ask me. Not some sort of freedom loving uh, uh, states assembled that's decided upon by the people. Right. They don't yeah. even have to pay me. I'll do it for a parking spot. <laughs> like, give me a parking spot somewhere and, and I'm in of course more 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah more stupid. will not be part of it if you do not join the assembly. Uh, and that's a real shame because we all need to be part of our government <laughs> and do, oh, do our share. So of course this do. is the... I'm doing my part. Yeah. Ah! And here's my name more? here. Would you like to know more? Yeah. Oh, uh, you your... got that. Sometimes when you sign, it just doesn't look the same. What, baby? But getting... uh, there we go. And that one's going. You're getting a request for slow mode in the chat. In the chat. Oh, okay. I remember how to do that. Don't do it to to whatever you did in the premiere. Though two minutes is way too much. Yeah, that, 40... is, uh, th- that, that was an accident. The forty seconds is fine, I think. Um, let me see if I remember how to do it. Go here, click some stuff and things. We have over eight hundred people watching. Oh, nice. cool. hi everybody! Yeah. Okay. No, I don't know how to do it anymore. Oh my god, Radigo! It's it's different. It looks different now. It's in the um, I can't remember. In the studio. I yeah. see. So, oh, here we go. I think I found it. Live chat. Slow mode, forty. Okay, I found it. Yay! Stand, stand down, Radical. We, I got this. Andrew, my my package is one hundred and ninety-seven dollars, and it'll get you out of anything. I promise. Right, exactly. Right. I, uh, we don't. We don't need to know about your package. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do we have super chats? Like, I haven't even asked since we've been on here. Yeah, we've got several. Um. Yeah, I guess okay. now's as good a time as any. Yeah. All right. Don't want to build them up too much. Oh. Especially with talk of talk of packages and and building up. Like no, we don't. No. Well, you know what? I was asked the question and I answered it. <laughs> I want the package. Okay. All right. Uh, Maximo Poder, two dollars, no message. Thank you. Uh, seven upgraded membership to Tasers. Thank you. Yay. Oh, nice. Uh, You're gonna great. end up on the crawl at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Uh, Ridge152 for $5 says, I heard a good one today. If the earth is flat, then cats would just knock everything over the edge. Right. Yeah, that that's a good globe earth proof because cats would have knocked everything off the edge by now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Shelly, I forget how to pronounce your last name. If you could correct me on that. Uh, $5. Another insane conspiracy theory out there that my ex believes is that Kennedy and Hitler are alive and well in Antarctica. Oh, boy. <laughs> they, they are fucking freezing. I actually have heard that one, sadly. I have too, yeah. Yeah, Hitler's really? 130 years old. Wait, for real? Jeez. Yes. I've heard that one. Yeah. Is Elvis still alive? Jesus. That's their mm-hmm. entertainment. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Florida IG for $10 says the inspector general offices get complaints or tips from these conspiracy theorists all the time. I'm willing to forward them to you to handle LOL. Hey. Yeah. Send them over. I'd love to read them. Like just have a live stream one day and just read all this nonsense. Uh, Yeah. Marine for life has a 499. No message. Thank you. Uh, Eva Roberts for $20 says, you're not going to be able to change anyone's mind. Don't try. Instead, just tell them it is wrong and don't talk to them ever again. Set your boundaries because when you do, they might consider. That is a big might. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of like um, Christopher Hitchens said, you know, you don't, don't even try to change their mind. Just mock them. Sounds like fun. Yeah. yeah. Um. Philosopher King Gaming for five dollars says, "Just remember, the crazy cat lady was a doctor and a lawyer." Yep. Oh yep. God. Uh, Fog repair ship Akashi for two dollars says, "Never mess with the IRS. Not even the Joker does." Which is very true. Yeah. Um, really? Uh, yep. Yeah, if you uh, an old an old clip from Batman the Animated Series. The Joker was uh, was uh, approached by an IRS agent telling him that he was delinquent on back taxes, and the Joker went full blast to make sure he had his shit in order. <laughs> wow. 
uh, in that episode. So not That's even the hilarious. Joker will fuck with the IRS. That's yeah. cool. That's, really That's hilarious. Cool. Uh, it's, you it's saw a what popular happened. Clip on YouTube. You saw what happened to Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why when these people say, oh, you don't have to pay taxes, I'm like, well, then talk to Wesley Snipes, you know, <laughs> yeah. because he, he was he was went the conspiracy theorist route. Like yeah. he, ar he argued all the conspiracy theorist nonsense in court and he did time. <laughs> like, yes, he ho did. Hopefully he snapped out of it. I think he did because he's back in Hollywood and movies now. But yeah, but um, they they deal with Scientologists. So who cares? Who knows? Yeah. And, yeah, and I do real quick. Oh, real quick, I apologize, but real quick, somebody, people in the in the chat, uh, bring up Al Capone, who was infamously got away with all these murders, robberies, yep. racketeering, and everything like that. They went in with it, but right. was not uh, hooked up on uh, tax evasion, and it was thanks to the court saying, "Hey, even illicit income is still income. Yes, so right. you still got to report it." So that's right. how he got and, it. <laughs> and and Glo Glober Mom is right too. Kent Hoven. Who said yeah. that he did, he didn't have to pay taxes because all of his property belonged to God? <laughs> and, and the court was like, "Yeah, whatever," you're, and you're going to jail. And so right. he he did quite a bit of time as well. That's and not how tried, that works. <laughs> then he tried. Then he tried to sue the government for how some some enormous amount, like trillions of dollars, and uh, <laughs> they were just like, "Nah." Actually, that's a stream that we could do one night is to read that judgment because it's hilarious. Okay. I got one more super chat and then a funny comment. Uh, James Bond 007 for four ninety nine hey. says, may I pre-order two of Artie's packages? Hey. I'll have to take that up to Artie. He, he does. Uh, you can, if you go on his OnlyFans and you, you click, it's all the way, the link on the top right corner, um, you can, you can look at his package. Yeah, because okay. she it was a different one. She was interested in. <laughs> yeah, I okay. think he was AFK the whole time we were saying that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Juan, Juan Palma says, "I used I to date there. this. I used to date this girl who worked for the IRS. We broke up, and all of a sudden, I got a random audit and owed oh. money. Oh, and owed money. Yeah. It's it's funny because a lot of the people that I've heard of that get audited, it." There's somebody screwing with the the. They're not random. Yeah. Nah. Like a lot of like high high profile people that just happen to be on the other side of the current administration end up getting audited. Mm -hmm. Like that's not how that should work. No, nope. it shouldn't. All right. Well, that's it for super chats. All right. I guess we'll look back at some crazy now. Okay going to be notarized and I send these in and they're going to be posted now posting means when I get my credentials they are going to have a a lookup an internet lookup and all of these documents will be on my credential lookup Right. That means so nothing. So any any person that wants to see what I have, uh, what I've person. signed, and what I'm standing by, then all they need to do is, I don't know what that little square thing is called. You know, the one, it, it looks like a bar. It's not a barcode, but QR, it's a square. The QR, the QR code. Yeah. 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 I have a picture of one here. But what good is notarizing no, it if she doesn't? It looks like a square <laughs> oh, I am so computer. How much you want to bet she doesn't even anyway, use a real notary? I will find out what. Yeah, that it's is. probably some fake but notary because the, uh... a real notary wouldn't do anything as well, far as their well, they'll, government. They'll, they'll well, actually, notarize not they see you sign. Uh, that is not true. Honestly, uh, I maybe maybe it's changed within the last one or two years. But back in the day, notaries will sign whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, well, but what I'm saying is, what force would that have in law if oh. it, you're yeah. under this fake government and the real government has no power? It's like they, they want to like have their fake government, but sprinkle in all of these yeah. legit yeah. things. No, it wouldn't go over well. That, 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 that's the point that I'm making. Gotcha. Here's the website. 
So please go there and get your uh, your state coordinator, no matter what state you live in. You will find your state coordinator and a contact email and you send them an email and they will get you started on how to do this, how to process this, how to get out of the corporate. In, in order, in other words, it's how to jump ship, get <laughs> off of the sea, get out of and get up. back on the land. <laughs> oh my so, God. Uh, go so, here. When I, when I went there and found my state coordinator, my state coordinator just happened to be Anna Von Wright's. Oh so my I'm God. wondering, I'm wondering if no matter what state coordinator you click on, it's going to be Anna Von Wright's. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe Wait. that's why she didn't respond is because I used who you are. Yeah. Maybe. But we should all, we should all just email with our actual like real name emails and see if they, re if they respond. I'll do it. Hmm. <laughs> I've, I've got the website pulled up right now. What's which state do we want to go to? Colorado. Okay, Colorado. It's, it's pulling up. I think my New Jersey's contact his name is Emily, so I don't think it's Anna Von Wright's. Oh, okay. Um, Colorado. There we go. Clicked on it. Um, con uh, use contact form. I think that's what that is. Oh no, that's just to send them a message. I'm trying to find the coordinator. Okay, yeah, I have a coordinator in Ohio. The name is Gloria. I don't have a last name. Oh, okay. But she, they have on the bottom of the page webinars, and it goes right to, uh, like, yeah, the guru. Oh, uh, it's her with like a um, Revolutionary War hat on. That's yep, yep, exactly. As fuck. What mine is? No, um, all, all of them. At it's the bottom, Anna. there's it's, webinars. It's Anna oh. with a freaking tricorn hat. Yep. <laughs> oh, like like that other guy wears. Yeah, like Ernie, like what Ernie yeah, wears. Ernie, yeah. Yeah. But did you find mine? I'm looking. It says contact, but it doesn't say what the state coordinator is. Because I'll sign up. You Nobody could send you could you could send them a contact. Um, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, you just you go to that know. website. Go to that website. Click on the. It brings up a map of the U.S. You click on Colorado and then um, click on contact. I'm gonna have you all audited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. And we're up to 850. Uh, Thanks everybody for connected watching. Connected with your state coordinator. Send them an email, and they will give you instructions. They just want a basic um, information, and they want to know. These are the people that won't give information, right? And I'm sure, ours. I'm sure they want a modest donation as well. Yeah, I won't give them that. That you have a basic <laughs> understanding of what you're doing, so mm. you have to do just a little bit of studying. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> got to watch some videos. If you put something yeah. in the comments, maybe I can help you or direct you to uh, where you need to go. But the state coordinators will give you all the places you need to. I don't mind discussion on, on my uh, videos there because it's a good, like, comfortable place. So Is it? Um, let's no, all get I'm doing this and uh, take back our government if we all yeah expatriate no patriotism is just your pledge so if you take your pledge away from the corporate system and you pledge to the law of the land and your fellow americans and the original constitution then you are a true American. No, no, no. You're, you're a stateless person that can't get a passport. Going from one <laughs> system to what we always thought. I want to know: Did these people accept the stimulus? Oh, That's a good question. Did. I bet they did. There's no bet doubt in my did. mind. Yeah. Well, I mean, how many sovereign citizens have we seen that are 
that talk about getting benefits and food stamps. Right. Yep, exactly. And yeah, so it's when it's convenient, they're sovereign mm -hmm. citizens. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's my point right there. We were in, but we're lied to about. So can't wait to see you there. All right, have a good day. <laughs> You're going to jail, lady. I, I can't wait to see you in stripes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, my God. Yeah. I wonder who has more victims, Mark Stevens or Anna Von Wrights? I, I would. I don't know, that's, I, a good that's a good. That's honestly a good question. I would say Mark Stevens. I think so. Yeah. Um, largely because Anna doesn't. She she touts this bat shittery. She right. doesn't necessarily teach you stuff to say in court. Whereas Mark Stevens' entire shtick is court right. templates, filing templates mm -hmm. for people who are already in trouble. So I think he probably puts people more people in jail than, than and, she does. And he's much more evangelical about it too. <laughs> if that's the right word. <laughs> I think it is. What I don't what do you mean? Like what are you he, he he goes forth and preaches the gospel. Oh yeah, yeah. Then I get of jurisdiction. Yeah. So. So I, you, I, do you need anything to be brought up? I I think that was what we had for the night. Well, mm -hmm. there's one forum that you posted in Discord that I really want. Oh, to the, go the, over. the 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 baby one. Okay, the, yeah. The deed of land recording your baby's registration mailed the per. I'll get what, that what right the away. Fuck? <clears throat> it, you're going to get a kick out of this, Artie. It's, it's entirely... Marriage paperwork? No, no, no. Not the marriage one. The, the baby, baby deed. Yeah, I got baby it. Baby deed. Got it. Yeah. Oh, and you're, my and God. The, the, the uh, I laughed well, the first time I saw it because uh, the only thing I could what? think of was um, Baby D from Friday. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck am I looking like, at? There's not much here, but it's like amazing that uh, like we have a baby deed. No, this like, is their blank is living mean? child. Yes. Oh no! Oh my the god! Private, natural, biological parents. What? As opposed? To... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> On the land of blank county in the blank state or foreign country in whatever. Your mother born on the land of <laughs> what blank. What if you're born on a boat? <laughs> Yeah. 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 What happens if you're actually born on sea? <laughs> then what? Yeah. And they're also trying to copyright the name, the child's you name. Can't do that. What What government are you copywriting it with? Yeah, American common law copyright and trademark of trade name. <laughs> you can't copyright a name. You can't. No. You can't copyright a name. Keep going. You can trademark one. There's, and then at the yeah. bottom, there's the there's the the the, uh, the notary thing, which you know, in witness of these facts, before me, public notary appeared, blah, yada yada yada. Private natural person and did present proofs of their identity, which I I've never actually I don't know if I've seen that in these, but maybe I have, and was deposed and did swear or affirm these facts from without the United States. Huh? What? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> oh, they say without the united states it's again it's another a way of them trying to say that they are not under the laws of the de facto corporate united states type of thing oh, that's why they keep on saying without the united states mm -hmm. i thought they meant like outside the borders no, know, no, 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 no. Because if, if they if they even acknowledge the borders have any sort of legal significance, then they fall. They would say they fall into the trap. So they they their oh, way of God. saying without the United States is their way is their their fucking loophole where they're allowed to stick around in the United States, but they don't have to answer to the government of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. It's so convoluted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It <laughs> all of it. I mean, all of it is. Yeah. I feel oh my like, god. god! I feel like I, the fact again, that I actually understand this. I feel like I've yeah. been in this thing way too long. Right. <laughs> Already, <laughs> uh, just OBT. to understand what they're saying. It's like I need to stop. Already, no BT. Just again, one. Make sure everybody understands. If you renounce your citizenship, you have to leave. Right. 
I think you have to be left. Like, I think you have to be gone before you do that. I'm not sure. I I've think never... technically you need to be outside of the United States. Yeah. Uh, to to but... if if not if if not to start the process by the end of the process, you pr or you probably should be outside of the United States proper. So yeah, because so nobody you need to be, like, who then you has... need to be then you'd be an immigrant and you would need like all the paperwork for that. Right. right. Or you'd, you'd be a foreign national or something. Right. Yeah. The co-founder of uh, Facebook did it. And he was in, uh, where was he? Um, it starts with an S. Spain? A, in, no, it was an Asian country. Um, damn it. Um, that's not a that's not a country. I no, I was, you said Asian. <laughs> I just started saying things. I didn't hear you say country yet. Um. Anyway, he yeah. he was uh, he was outside of the U.S. and the okay. reason was because it's when they went public. Uh, when Facebook went oh. public and he was going to get like all these billions of dollars and you know, the U S wanted their cut and he was like, Nope. Ooh. So before Sing they, before Singapore. Yeah. Yeah. Before they went public, he renounced his citizenship. And so now he's just over there with, uh, hookers and blow and billions of dollars. See, that pisses me off. Well, the guy makes all his money in the U S and then yeah. can't pay his fair share. Right. Yep. Fucking rich people. Ugh. Yeah. Well, no, he I, is mean, I would stupid say stupid rich. You'd say that with the with the rich people, but honestly, the United States is one of the only countries that does this sort of thing, where your you your your tax bill for renouncing your citizenship is a thing. U.S. is actually yeah. fairly unique with that regard, where you have we to pay to you have to p actually pay to stop being a citizen. <laughs> oh well, that's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he was just trying to to beat the clock. Like, yeah. He was so trying... I don't mind in his case. Well, I mean, I understand why he did it, and it should probably tell the U.S. government, like, Stop maybe right. you need to, like, calm down on all this, you know, crazy taxes that well, we have. Rich people don't pay enough, though. Uh, right, yeah, we, we can have a talk about that. No, I'm talking about, like, the, the really, really rich the Bezos of the world. Well, I yeah, can, we can have a talk. We can have an entirely separate conversation about our. Yeah, time that, right. Team, but okay, sorry. <laughs> we're, sorry. We're getting I'm way sorry. off topic. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, like the other two documents you posted in Discord, uh, like there's still the Declaration of Naturalization Act of July 19, 1779, but they're titled differently. One of them is for naturalized United States citizens adopting state or national or state citizen status for the first time. I, I read through this. It's basically like they're saying adopted state, which I'm guessing means you moved. Um, and then the other one, for federal employees who maintain... Wait, which rules, one? I'll bring it up, hon. I, 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 I wasn't going to like talk about it. Just okay, the all right. Uh, and then the other time, the other one is for federal employees who maintain dual status as American state nationals and United States citizens while in federal employment. What? Huh? Yeah. Uh, they, they also uh, 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 ascribe to the idea that the only uh, proper U.S. citizens are those who work for the state uh, and federal governments. Like federal employees are the only ones who are subject to U.S. law. So what about me? Like I'm... <laughs> A defense contractor, so I'm like quasi. Yeah. Like I, I would... hold, I hold a security clearance. I have a government ID card. They probably would call you a us a, a U.S. citizen subject to the laws. Yeah. Uh, compared to a. Uh, I'm so confused. Uh. uh so are they? Don't worry, Marvel, but So are we? Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. No. So are they? <laughs> yeah. Fair. But the... okay, like I, I couldn't work this entire week because somebody screwed up some paperwork, and therefore I couldn't get the proper security badge I needed to go onto the submarine. Jeez! Oh, so I sat in the hotel room all week making YouTube videos. Like that's how intricate that. Uh, yeah, it, it's tough. Um, they contractually still had to pay me, so. Nice. <laughs> um, but well, because the data the ones are screwed up, right? But that's how in depth all this stuff goes, and they think that a one-page form mm -hmm. that they sign in blue ink just undoes it all. Yeah, that's not how that works. That is not how that works. 
it never works like that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if you want to renounce your U.S. citizenship and you're not a billionaire with a team of lawyers, I would think it would take like at least maybe six months to a year just to wade through all the paperwork. That That's just me off the top I of my head. I want to start. Neither yeah. would I. Where do you, who do you talk to first? Yeah. Anna Von Wrights. <laughs> <laughs> you know, obviously they can't care too much about the people who follow them because I'm sure Anna knows this is bullshit. Oh yeah, no, she's she's just in it for the cash. She's seen I, I people go to jail. Gurus, I always think the gurus know it's bullshit. I right. I always think like the people they they trick into this, like most of them actually believe it, which is the sad part. Yeah, they go to jail. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you believe it to the point to where you're going to jail, then I, I think you actually believe it. Yeah. yeah. Which is crazy because um Heather Antucci, mm-hmm. who was an actual attorney, she was a prosecutor. And now she's in jail. She she bought into the sovereign citizen stuff so much that now she's in prison. <laughs> so the guy she was quote unquote well, because she was representing him after she lost her her um well she, she was representing herself and yeah. well they were each representing themselves but it was uh they were co defendants. Now I have video of her going to his house when he's being arrested. And yeah. she's she's telling him what to do and she's trying to she's yelling at the guys there telling them like why they can't arrest him and everything. It's ridiculous. And then she uh there's all this audio from the uh uh from the trial and she believed it to the mm-hmm. point to where she went to jail and That's... there was all these people that were posting videos saying oh she's going to win like they, oh, they were yeah. they were they were saying I know who things. that is right the, well I know the, whole, the uploader is Dwazik he's the guy who who yes, found yes. all of these uh of uh these live streams of these these most of them were women who were up who were completely convinced that Anna was going to be walking out of jail yeah uh without any issues and then the moment that they freaking sentence her they stopped talking about her like oh full thanks. blast thanks uh freighter I did not know that um Heather Antucci was released to a halfway house in May oh wow so um I, I I really want to know, like, what's she going to do now? Is she going to – did she figure it out while she was in jail, or is she going to go I back, it. To, knowing, go back knowing to crazy how these town? guys are, um, I don't believe she'll she'll go right no. back to it. But I, she I, she was an attorney. Like, how do you – I don't – All so far, I mean, I mean I've, I've already seen another attorney here in Pennsylvania last year. She uh, – instead of, instead of the, the new age woo – uh, the Heather Antucci giraffe went. She, the woman here in Pennsylvania, uh, over in Pennsylvania, she went more, and oh, she geez. was uh, oh, hooked wow. up for trying to break into an apartment with two other people that they were evicted from. And she oh. was a barred attorney, and they oh. took away her license. Of course they did. So. <laughs> wow. It would like, be yeah. like a physicist. It, it would be like if PhD Tony came out tomorrow and was like, "I'm a flat earther." Like yeah. that's what it yeah. seemed like to me. Yeah, but, um, basically yes. Yeah. Apparently, apparently, Road Pirate Films has a video on the Floyd arrest or oh. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, Floyd's back in jail, by the way. Um, Again. Hundred ten thousand yeah. dollar bond. I haven't Whoa. confirmed that. Wow. But but oh that's God. the that's the well his last bail was ten thousand. Ten thousand is 100, not a hundred day. Right. Thousand that means like that's, that's a felony. Over yeah. More than fel- that's more than one felony. Wait, what did he do? I don't know. Same thing as always. I get. Well, we can ask Road Pirate for the video. Uh, if he would I give also, it, I don't know if he'd give it to us. I think he would. Yeah. Road, is I, he I here? Also, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. no what is, is he here? I mean, I he was. was. At one I, point. I was. I was quickly going to say, by the way, that your the guy that you showcased in your live stream today, he went to the same post office the day after that arrest. Oh God. Did he? And he he um he almost almost got arrested a second time in a row. Like, why 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 can't these people learn? And why that, don't the are the cops fucking arrest these people more? Well, they did. Like the the, the not cops, the second time apparently. Well, I, I I guess he probably left in time, but 
Well, the, um, the cop actually what all actually said, uh, "Put your hands behind your back." But then you know the the guy kept on walking back as he was like still fighting, and the cop was just like, "I think the cop just basically said it, he'd be more trouble than it's worth to arrest him." Yeah, but right. he eventually he the guy eventually caved in and backed down and walked away, shouting expletives because he knows he lost. But mm-hmm. yeah, so oh, he gotta, was gotta, almost arrested a second time. I gotta yeah, check I, that video out. A lot mm-hmm. of times when, like, the police, like, we get frustrated the police aren't arresting them. Most mm-hmm. of the time, I think, it's because they don't, like, the guy is barely harmless, like, pretty much harmless, except, you know, he's annoying right. everybody. And they don't want to necessarily go through all the paperwork to arrest somebody for, you know, disorderly conduct if they could just get him to go away. <laughs> yeah, I- I've got a friend who's a deputy sheriff um, in Key West, Florida. And we were talking about sovereign citizens one time, and he's like... It really kind of just depends. Like if you're at the end of your shift and you run into one of those guys, you're more likely to just be like, okay, just, just go up the road. Cause you know that if you arrest them, then you're, you're going to end up going past the end of your shift and like, you're tired and all that. If it's the beginning of your shift, then you're like, yeah, let's do this, bro. (laughs) (laughs) So, but yeah, I mean, it it makes sense. You got to think of like, what's the cops situation. Yep. You know, is is he gung ho to do this with someone like you said that's basically harmless? But, yeah. but it's, that, it's messed I, up I, because I, right. it emboldens I, them. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I completely understand where the cop is coming from when they do that. But the sad reality, the the ultimate conclusion of that is they'll think that they got a victory out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how many it. videos have we seen when they've dri- driven away from a stop and they're like, "That's how you do it." Yeah, yeah, I hate that. They take it as a win, and they are emboldened by it. Right. Do you see so, the on screen though? No. Um, my biggest question uh, from um, Humper's BMX. My biggest question is: Don't these idiots learn after the first time going to jail that this sob shit shit is BS, and someone basically scammed them, or are they really that dumb? If they're really that dumb, like yeah. how many how many times did Anthony Williams go to jail? Like he's in jail for something like the third time. Uh, and this time it's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. But he did significant stretches before as well. The, and, well, the last time, well, I believe the before the last time he did. Well, he only did a small stretches in jail. The last time he did that, he was on twenty two years of probation. Twenty yeah. two years of probation. Yeah. yeah. Like Ohio limits at the five. <laughs> this was in Florida because again he unauthorized practice of law and uh what was for that one because he kept on doing it he had Jeez. multitudes yeah. of cl- of clients um but then he was hooked up again there at shortly thereafter for mortgage fraud mortgage fraud oh god and that's right what, that's what where they they they, they uh, uh put the heavy hand on uh, anthony williams I mean, yeah it makes sense um well i'm trying to get the video do you want to do super chats yeah let's do super chats yeah sure Okay, Fog Repair Ship Akashi for two dollars says News Now Omaha was arrested yesterday. RPF posted. Okay, yep. yeah, we know that. <laughs> yep. Uh Sindaluchian for ten dollars says my son gets credit for this, but I know I've heard it before. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Yeah, that's a commonly known axiom. And we just got one from Taco Josh Gaming for five dollars. Which is bullshit because the entirety of U.S. law between state and federal is more than anybody could ever possibly understand. Yeah. Um, Taco Josh Gaming for $5 says, Mid-Ohio showed up on my stream this morning. He said Omaha got arrested for arm behind back and appearance of breaking into cars, so the usual crap. Mm-hmm. I mean- when you like look like you're breaking into vehicles, like I'm sorry, that is going to not only draw the cops to you, mm-hmm. but gives you more them more of a reason to arrest you. Well, that's what he Ooh. does is he pretends like he's doing something illegal mm-hmm. without actually doing it. Like he pretends yeah. like he's breaking in yeah. a car, and then the cops show up, and then he immediately like starts reaching really like, really quickly behind his back or in his pockets. Mm-hmm. And so the cops pull out their guns, obviously. Right. And then they say, you know, show me your hands. And he's like, my back itches. Yeah. It's like, 
What? If you if you if you're drawing down on me with a pistol, my back can be itching like a motherfucker. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> move. I got yeah. a spider on but me. If the police have pulled their arms out, I'm their firearms out. I'm gonna be like, right. hi, see hands, yeah. right? I can, I can have them, them and they're staying here. I can have but, a bug on me, and I'm not gonna you know do anything. Exactly. But he needs the clicks. Yeah. I, so he, he he reminds me of the kids that do the. Pew, 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 pew. Like, you know, is they're firing their finger guns. Right. See, excuse me. I'm sorry. I, w- I was going to say he reminds me of those kids who say who will eat a worm if the kids tell them to just for, you know, so they sort like him. Of. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, even, but the thing is, the sad part is not even many auditors will go as far as Floyd will go for yeah. those clicks. Right. Most of them aren't trying to get themselves killed. They'll yeah. you'll see you'll see the you know, the SGV that will do the all black and the mask, and you'll do furry potato who does right. the stupid ass shit. But I feel like they're a rarity compared to most of the, what most of the other auditors. Most of the other auditors don't aren't doing gestures that even they know the cops are looking for when it comes to something that's right. really gonna get them on on high high alert. He seems so. to have a death wish. He does. Yeah, have, I, I does. Like he does absolutely have. Yeah, a death I agree. Wish. Like I feel and like he's going to get shot. You know, one time by the police it, because it's inevitable. So strange. It, it's it's gonna. It, it, there's no way that it won't happen if I, he keeps it, up. Exactly. I don't understand how he thinks that this is going to be a, a good thing for him because based on what he does, how he does it, it by all accounts. It'll be a justified shooting if he mm-hmm. if he ends up doing something, even if he doesn't have anything on him. Right, it'll yeah. be a justified shooting, and all he'll do is be another dead individual and have a, pol- a police officer who's going to have to live with the fact that he shot an, uh, somebody with who wasn't actually armed for the rest of his life. Well, here's yeah. the here's the thing as well. So when it goes to court and everybody's saying, "Oh, an unarmed black man got shot." All they have to do is pull up the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of video yeah. of him yeah. provoking the cops. Like it could almost be an unjustified shooting, and the cop would still get off because probably all this video of yeah. him. Everybody knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he could say my back itches till the cows come home. Nobody's back is that itchy. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Oh. I agree with Chuck in the in his uh, super chat there. Like, he's going to get himself killed. Like, he, or at, he, at least he's, maimed. Yeah, I, I, I feel like he's literally looking for suicide by cop. It's absolutely what it, what it's going to look like to everybody and, until they see the extra footage that where they find right. out that he does do this thing as a normal basis for his mm-hmm. auditing bullshit. Yeah. The assumption will end up being that it was suicide by cop. Yeah, right. And none of his friends, his auditor friends. Are trying to talk him out of it. None no, they're of them. talking him into it. They're talking right. him into it. Yeah, right. Because they're, they're always wants, there yeah. with their cameras. Yeah. That's why I said he's like that kid will eat worms if you tell him to because he wants to be with the cool kids. Right. Can I say I love this name? <laughs> <laughs> that is that. That, that, that is that, a nice name. name. Yeah. That is Thank good you. Name. Okay. Go ahead. Is it more right. on? Yeah. So, uh, character holding for five dollars says, "Start calling him Death Wish." Oh, yep. Uh, Nate Wirt for five dollars says, "Can they charge PayPal Patty etc. for his deaths when he does get killed?" Ooh, no. can they? No, like if they find out, well, like if they found proof of them talking him into it, it would be at a high bar. Probably, I, not. I think. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm if, no lawyer. But. I don't know if they if they found if they found literally evidence of them l- telling him go do this. Right. Um. It might be like a lower like involuntary manslaughter kind of a thing or something, but it it'd still be hard to prove. I would I would say it'd be very very difficult for. Yeah. It also depends on what jurisdiction you're in, but yeah. Like, as I said, they would have to have proof on camera of them basically saying, "Go out and do this," like specifically, and even then, as you said, it's. It's gonna be hard to prove. I don't. I don't doubt a prosecutor would try. I but. think there there was a case. I seem to remember in the last couple of years where some girls got prosecuted um, because they basically bullied another girl into suicide. But that's new in New Jersey. There's a law for that. 
but I don't even. I, that's what I was thinking too. Because it's, New it's Jersey sort of does similar. have it explicitly uh, does have an explicit law for that, but I don't even know that that would this would qualify for that because the right. idea they're not intending to get him to commit suicide per se. They're saying, yeah. hey, yeah. to get a you're just doing that to get a reaction from the cops, right. whatever that reaction may be. That's right. why I was thinking involuntary manslaughter because right. you know. It wouldn't. It would not be like murder. It wouldn't be voluntary. It wouldn't be anything like that. At best, it would be like negligent homicide, potentially, or something like that. It, 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 again, it, it would be hard to prove. It doesn't keep them from being horrible humans of piece, uh, pieces of human shit, though. I mean, yeah. you're not wrong. So uh, you sh uh, I was trying to get the video, but did you talk about that girl who got like on the screen convicted for? Encouraging her boyfriend to commit suicide. Uh, yeah, there was that that case as well. I remember uh, that. One. I was just I was just about to bring that up actually. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and she got convicted. I want to say. I yeah, she did. Apparently, old school says PayPal Patty's no longer friends with Omaha. Right. Oh. Yeah. Because uh, uh, PayPal Patty, as he likes to do, he lied to him because Shocking. everything that PayPal Patty says is a lie. Yeah, pretty right. much. Oh, God, I remember there was a video that I saw recently where this lady says, I don't want to be on film. And he says, oh, I, I just turned my camera off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then he just continues to film her. I'm like, mm -hmm. I can't, like, didn't your mama teach you anything growing up? Like, I wish I'd run into one of these guys because, like, if they're filming me, like, I'd just walk up and, like, plug my own channel and then walk off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, could, you, could you imagine? Be like, hey. Um, just Red like, Pirate is here. Can oh. you give us the Omaha arrest video, hon, if you have it? Can you share it with us? You'd be my best friend forever if you do. Can you come on and talk about it? Yeah, you, you can even come on if you want. Yeah. I just sent you a DM about it. Me or him? Not him. Okay. Yeah, I right. actually, I actually have found myself like sitting in front of my laptop watching his live streams of Devon Bay, and like I think I've fallen asleep during them because like it, it's oh. just such a such a word salad of nothing. It's right. like it's good to like fall asleep to. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to just acknowledge him anymore. Like, yeah, he, 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 mostly because he's such low hanging fruit. Yeah, and he's got his own problems that I'm like, uh, he's not even worth paying attention to. So he's not. No, I know. He I is... know a lot of people still like troll him and 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 do this and that. I'm like, he is not. He's a waste of time. No. Yeah. But he he's the um, on screen. He'll take a nap. <laughs> but he, he is the, even he's the embodiment of delusions of grandeur <laughs> like he mm -hmm. he has such a high opinion of himself he's like i'm changing the world it's like he tells no. you what to do and there's nobody there no nope, there's just like three people watching and he'll talk as if there's two thousand people watching yeah and he, it, he talks as if he has like pull with a bigger um Organizations and they all ignore right. him too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, the so, uh, Road Pirate not does not have two it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think anybody has that video because if they did, it would be blasted yeah. all over the place. He by wasn't now. live when he yeah. was arrested. Damn it! <laughs> or they they took or, or he was recording it, but they they have his camera and that won't be out yeah. for months. Right? Yeah. If we find out where it was, we can FOIA it. The body but cap. I mean, if he's got a hundred thousand dollar bond, then he's gonna have to come up with ten thousand. I don't. I don't think he's getting out of it. It's one hundred and ten thousand, so it'd be like eleven thousand. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he have to come and nobody's gonna give him that much money. Right. Yeah. So even with wait, even with a bail bondsman, would he have to come up with that much? Yeah, that's what I mean. Ten percent. Yeah. Mean. Oh, that's really. And he would. And he would lose it if, if he'd be, he would be paying the bail bondsman for that. Right. Like if he yeah. wanted to get his money back, he'd have to literally put up the whole hundred and ten thousand oh, dollars. Oh my god! I mean, yeah. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah. That, that's how the bail bond works. Is you give them ten percent, they put up the rest. You um, don't get that money back. No, that, you, you're no, paying them for the service. Yeah, it, it's like it's like oh, a loan. That's a lot of money. 
Yep. Yeah. I, and there's yeah. there's some places where you can't even bond. You it has it's cash only. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. the judge will set cash only bonds. They won't. So they won't means you have to pay surety. all of it. Cash, yeah. yeah, Florida, like it's they. Uh, if you hear Judge Fuller, he'll say cash or surety bond, but most of the time it, they may just do cash only. Yeah, yeah, like like you, a lot of people will put up their house or something like that. Like if they have equity, um, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but like I, sometimes I, sometimes they'll allow property bond. Uh, yeah, but normally like if it, it, it's cat, normally it's cash or surety, but yeah, you, you can do you can do like cash only. Um, you can do. Like in Ohio, we actually have a thing where the judges can like allow ten percent of the bond to be posted, and what that means is you can post ten percent of the bond with the clerk. What happens is you get ninety percent of that money back, and like ten percent goes to like the fees, basically. Hey, hey, Marvel. Yeah. Taco Josh in the chat says he has the video and he's got a link in there. Oh, Great. really? Taco, can you maybe send it to me? Do you want oh, to yeah, put it? Uh, uh, yeah. Anybody give it to me, DM. That's great. Here, uh, got put it. it in the private chat. Taco, thank Good. you so much. I I trust Taco Josh because I know I've, he's been around forever. But just take a look at it ah, first. <laughs> just it's unlisted. That's why. Yeah, yeah, it's unlisted in like an hour and over an hour and a half long. It's over an hour and forty minutes long. Uh, yeah, well, maybe maybe you can skim through I'm it. I'm skimming. I'm skimming. Although it looks like a lot of it's black. Yeah. I'm guessing because he got arrested early in the video. Yeah, it's not a lot of video. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it's early on that he gets arrested. It, it had to be something bad. No, no, it was a, a he's arrested. I think they, they, they take the camera at the 30, yeah. so 35 mark, a 35 minute mark or 36 yeah. minute mark. Because it keeps going from portrait to landscape. <laughs> yeah, so it's. He's uh, he's still okay. I have it at the thirty-seven minute mark. He's still confronting the uh, the police, and I think I'm sixteen minutes in when I'm going to be starting. You think that's good? That that yeah, may as well. Well, we can we, we can, can skip always, yeah. ahead. Oh, this is a rare treat tonight. I'm I'm, I'm pretty pumped up. Yeah, well, thank done, you, Taco. Taco. Yeah. Taco Josh for the win. Uh, yeah, I'd really. give you I'd give you a wrench if you already didn't. Didn't already have one. Should, you want me to give him a link? Oh, right, if he wants to join, he can join. Could be. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's what he's doing. Yeah, this is what he does. He's like he's crouching. Like, yeah. Behind a car. He yeah. he's baiting the cops. This, this is, is what he does. Can you turn up the volume? That is as far as it goes. Sorry. He's whispering. Yeah, he he mumbles. He does ASMR a lot. Stay back. There we go. Yeah, go ahead and stay away from me, man. Like he can just give them go orders. Stay away from me. Go back. Or do you? Yeah. Stay away from me. Yeah, you're not in charge, asshole. No. I'm actually gonna download this so he can't. Uh... I'm downloading it too right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just in case. Give them a, a fair chance every time. A fair them chance. A fair Give chance. them a fair chance. <laughs> hey, Taco. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Hello, Taco. Thank you very much uh, for this. They're coming out. I didn't know this was even available. Yeah, that's I'm awesome out. that you caught that. Yeah. Was someone in the chat had mentioned indie news oh, on the stay street. Back, and stay, stay back there. I searched and found it on his. Nice. Awesome. Uh, he's he's giving them directives on where to stand. Yep, oh boy. that's gonna work. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cops love being told where to stand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay back there. That's how you got to do it. Stay away from me. <laughs> oh my god. Is he talking yeah. to cops right now, or is he talking? Yeah, to yeah. yeah he's, 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 talking, he's talking to the cops. He's telling them where to stand. Oh yep. boy. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. Said that's not gonna go over well. I'm not the, I can't go that way. That's why he's backing up. Go down. Does he really think he has this power? Yes. Yes. Go ahead and stay back. Go ahead and stay back. No. I told you to stay back. You stay he, back. And by you saying stay that, back. they'll think he's you armed even more. Yeah. Basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's but, what, but the that's only reason they'd be staying back is because I'm now they're Stay back, bro. Just yeah. keep your distance. 
that that's his oh, goal. Oh, well, yeah. you just keep your distance. Oh wow, he is setting that's himself up. up. Stay back. Does he realize this? Don't come near yes, me. Don't he has to do it. This he point. has to. guy coming from the right. Stay away from me. That simple. Very simple. No. No, I know one of these, idiot. like, they basically thought he was having a uh, mental, like, you know, yeah. mass, like, a, a mental right. health incident and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, that was gonna... actually cool to see that officer come out and try right, to, like, to calm away. him down that like that. That, that was, was one of my videos. Saw, yeah. Yeah, that was one of your videos. For yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, that's where I saw it. That's the last one we used. Like, they, they were talking about, like, Baker acting him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there was a post on his community page, like, three days ago on whether he should stop putting his hands in his pocket. And I know. And I, and I said, yes, you should stop you doing it. Go back to work. <laughs> what did everybody else say though? I, I, the, the overwhelming uh, was no. Of course. Because, so. because Actually, they want to see it. They, 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 want, they want to see it. Yeah. His when subscribers I, don't care. Yeah. yeah. When I saw it, it was 52. Yes. Uh, 48. No. Mm. Oh, so it might've changed. Yeah. I, I it seemed to me like it was like sixty forty when I when I did it. See, they're all just staring but at the me. fact that anybody says no. Yeah, I, exactly. Well, again, the, we also live in this is this is a, a yeah. land of eight billion people, and there are people who love snuff me. films. They want to see right. somebody die and uh, live on screen. You were the one who told care. me that those things are real, already. They they are real. Yeah. Yep. Like they, they will probably treat him as a martyr because, of course, it's not them that's yeah. getting shot. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, somebody like Al Sharpton wouldn't care what the facts are. No. Uh-huh. When you're done here, you'll be on your way. No. No. Yeah, that's not how that works. And he's still crouching down. The pointy ass chin thing. Is too much for me. It makes him look like a comic book character, minute, cartoon devil. The pointy um beard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody wants to mama want to come out here. I'd, I wouldn't want him near my truck. No. If that was my truck, I'd be mad. I don't want any bullet holes in. You're not gonna stop me. Right. You're not gonna stop me. He just remote said. start any vehicle. Did he just say he could remote start any vehicle? I think I think so. I think somebody remote started said. the truck. <laughs> Oh. I know he has a guy in his live chat that's that's giving him like updates hey, on the police scanner apparently. Uh, oh, do you want me to make this? No, small no, so no, it? no. It's not okay. worth it. It's not worth it. No, it's just a bunch of crazy in his. Yeah. Um, it's it's and everybody. It's, actually, it's not a bunch. It's like five, like three people. Yeah, and they're egging him on. Go ahead and stay. I, I told you to stay away from me. That's Don't not how that works. Go back no, over that's there. not how that works. Get in your truck. Get in your truck. But get away from me. No. Get away from me. No. Oh, they just want to get in their yeah, truck. Get away from me. If you're trying to get in your truck, get in your truck. But stay away from me. That's simple, bro. You're next to their truck. Yeah. And you're acting like you have a gun. If you're trying to get in your vehicle, get in your vehicle. Then move away, away from, from it, asshole. <laughs> what? Does he have a mother? I don't know. No, uh, apparently not, because anybody would have come and intervened by now. What? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say, but y'all gonna have to stay back. Stay back. Are these cops? Stay, or are they just regular back. guys working that want to get uh, to the truck? Stay back. I have no stay idea. Back. Looks like bro. cops or sheriff's uh, officers. Or something. I was gonna say sheriff's stay officers. Back. So where is he? Is he at a police at department? Mansfield, Ohio. I don't know yeah. what where, what area. He's Probably at the seat. sheriff's department, though. The county sheriffs. The county sheriffs in Ohio all have police powers. On the yeah. edge of the video, you can see people in uniforms. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's just, what we're I'm at. wondering about these two guys. That's all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, if they're just regular people who hey, want to get to the. Stay their back. Truck. I done told you too many times. Just stay back. I told you no, too many you don't, times. You don't want to talk to me. It's so, yeah. what are you going to do? That's simple, man. I'm telling you, Crying? go back inside. Like, 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 if he, if they get near get him, truck, what could he truck. possibly do? Not that big of a deal. Stay away from if he's not well, He pretends like he has a gun. So. Yeah, that's why they're not going to get close to him yet. Right. Because they think he's armed. They pro- yeah, I mean, they probably saw him, like, crouched in, in 
you're crouched next to the vehicle doing yep. something and keeps, weird. And, and you keep saying, stay back. Yeah, and yeah. he keeps reaching behind his back. Like, yeah. he, he got arrested. Even his hand at, is his pocket. He, he's got arrested um, at a courthouse because we had a, a rifle case. It was empty, uh, but he didn't say it was empty. He was right. And then, then he said it was just a um, for his camera tripod. Yeah. But it's like, no, it's a fucking rifle case. Jesus. He does not value his life. Yeah, I, I see the deputies in the background. Uh-huh. Sadly, his compatriots don't value his life either. No, they don't. No, they just see dollar signs. Absolutely. Yeah. Because they'll make they'll make so many videos if he gets shot. And they'll oh, yeah. e beg they'll e beg so bad. They'll e beg for the family, they'll e beg for the funeral, they'll e beg for the lawsuits. They'll e beg for clothes to wear to the funeral. Right. Like that, that woman whose um, husband was just arrested and she's like pretending that she doesn't know what to do. Right. Yeah. Really, she's, bitch? How about first take care of your kids? She's like, we don't have the money right now. I was like, well, that's because your husband is unemployed. And oh, shit, here, arrested. Comes a, here comes a fuck ton of cops, apparently. Hell yeah. yeah. They probably went to a fire, oh, that's a fire, oh, that's a fire truck. truck. That's, that's oh, some police yeah. firing. I could never tell the difference. The but fire trucks have the horns. Oh, yeah. They're the ones that go. Uh, uh, I think it's. Get in your truck. Get in your truck. I told him plenty of time. I can't tell the difference in tone. Um, yeah. I'm gonna fast forward a little okay, bit. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, it, right there. It looks, it looks like, yeah, it looks like it gets good. The, he must be loving the fact that he's keeping them at bay this long. Oh yeah. I'm sure he is. This is pumping him up. He's he's feeling empowered. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Ten foot right, because they're responding to his actions. Yep. Right. You know, he's center of attention and loving it. Yep. This is really good. <laughs> I'm entertained as fuck right now. Me too. Exactly. I wonder how he feels right now, though. Like this moment, oh. not in the video right now. Being in jail. Up, oh, up. Oh. Back off. Back up. Probably still feels justified. No. Being detained for a crime? Yeah. For what crime? Sir, I'm not on the property. And this is public property. Yeah, but you're acting like you're not crazy. The issue. Now you're being recorded. Okay. You got your body cam? Why are you backing up, boss? Be careful. I want to find you. What's on? Real quick, come here. Don't touch me, bro. You don't know what happens, are you? I don't consent to the searches. Okay. Don't touch me, dude. Come here. You don't, don't have to consent to a search. Yeah, I <laughs> my constitutional rights. Ken! Don't, you. don't have to. Don't touch me, dude. Don't touch me, dude, as he's touching Don't touch me, bro. Get off me, dude. What is this, dude? Relax. Relax. Bro, get off. You got any weapons, Come here. Don't I'm not searching you. Come here. Yeah, you are. Just relax. It's okay. a Terry Frisk. It's not a search. It's a Frisk, it's not a search. Exactly. Terry for stop and frisk. He, do, oh, wow, weapon. guys, don't forget. He's got that camera case in his pocket that looks like a gun. Yeah. Is he seriously? Yeah, no, yeah. He, he's, he's used that a lot in the past. Oh, it, it, it looks like the handle the butt of, of a gun. Of a, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. I've seen that thing. Oh, my God. That a couple years ago, like that, that those things were go, went on sale. I remember this. I saw and that. Yeah. Police yep. departments all over were saying, "Please, for the love of God, do, do not, not get this case." Yeah. Because it's. Uh, I remember the case was made and sold in places in like Japan where yeah. it's it's culturally understood that nobody, nobody has a has firearm. A gun. Right. So 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 nobody will get threatened, but if they see a, a gun handle on somebody's person, it's like ha ha ha. It's a joke. It's a Right. Over there, the kid, people see it's a joke. Not here in the States. And I remember yeah. police were saying, please do not get this ca uh, carrying case. Yeah. yeah. Except in, like, Texas, where you get arrested if you don't have a gun. 
Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they're, they're like, no, we don't put up with that around here. Hold the fuck up. You're not armed. Get the fuck over <laughs> oh here. Oh, my yeah. God. Get pat down. Get, get, get on the ground. They I legally issue... have to give you my gun. I, yeah, they issue you the gun right in there. <laughs> Here's my gun. I'm giving you a warning. Next yeah, time, they... better yeah, be they, armed. They arrest you and take you to the nearest firearm store. <laughs> <laughs> Irish fellow girl um, lives in Texas. She has 300 guns, uh, no lie. Yeah, she's Jeez. got more guns than me. I'm, 300. I'm, I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm going to buy guns just so that I have more guns than her. <laughs> but, like, I I have um, a camera case. I mean, a phone that looks like a camera. I mean, they look realistic, these cases. This gun one, I saw a picture of it. If it's in your pocket, you cannot tell that's not a gun. Yeah, right. no, he, he's gotten in trouble like three, four, five different times with that thing. Yeah. Do you have a transferable machine gun, Schrodinger? Transferable machine gun? I don't know what that means. I don't either. The ones that you can sell, buy and sell. The ones that you can sell. The ones that you can buy that you're allowed to be able to sell through ATF. Oh, you no, know, you would have to have a federal firearms license for that. Oh, oh. okay. All right. So, no, I, I don't have an FFL. In every state? Because. Yeah. Even in Colorado, it's, where there's no permit, it's a federal firearms license. Uh, I don't federal. know. I don't federal. know anything about guns and stuff. And and just to reiterate, there are no windows on submarines. Oh, God, <laughs> I hate you so much right now. You hate me all the time. No, no, no hands Boss. go behind my back, bro. Nope. Boss, just... I'm being detained for a crime. Right now, I'm exercising my first amendment rights. Do not touch me, dude. They're gonna touch you. What does the First Amendment have to do with not touching? Well, he's referring he, to a Terry Frisk. He, yeah. He, well, okay. Gotcha. He, he he he's saying fourth. Well, he's referring to the Fourth Amendment. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Searches and seizures. That's what I thought, but he said first, so I was wondering. Okay. I'm arrested, then I should have I should be able to exercise my First Amendment rights. That's not First Amendment, bro. That's not First Amendment. Well, he's trying to say he's exercising his First Amendment right of just standing around recording. Okay. Yeah. You don't get the right to loiter. But he said, if I'm arrested, I should be able to. And then he said, First Amendment. Not yeah. I'm, not well, he said, I'm exercising my First Amendment right. Okay. So I right. he's referring to. Well, okay. he's not exactly the brightest tool in this. No, he's know? not. No, he's no. not. He's an idiot, and, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's been through near the vehicle too long. Uh, no, he said it right. Every time I hear Fifth Amendment, I hear, just hear oh, Dave yeah, Chappelle. I'm not in trouble. You said I'm not arrested. For what crime? Just stand over here. We're just figuring out what's up. Here, let me tighten this for you. So it doesn't touch you. Ha! He had a wedgie. The purchase of seizures on my property. <laughs> I did it. You're so childish. Oh, I mean, they all are, but yeah. Just take, just take a seat for a second. No. I'm not taking no seat. I'm not taking no seat. Okay. No. Relax over here. If you're not going to take seat, you're not going to walk away from me. What's time I'm being detained for? Right now, you're acting like you're trying to take off. So, I mean. Yep. Well. Yeah. 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 He never wants to say his name until they tell him he's under arrest. And all of a sudden, he can't stop saying his name. Yeah. yeah. I've seen so many videos of him getting arrested. He's like, nope, I will never tell you my name. And they're like, you're under arrest. And he's like, Floyd Wallace Jr. Yep. Floyd Wallace Jr. Because he thinks that's going to get, get him out of it. It's like, too late, right. bro. They never think they pushed it so far that it's too late. They think they can get out of it. From a public building. You're trespassing me from a public building. Yeah, well, how does he not know this by now? Yeah. None of how many times that. have we been over this? Mm -hmm. The same reason why um, Sopsic gurus keep on making paperwork. Yeah. I guess, but I mean... Uh, you that... know how many sovereign citizens I've seen in my Lexus alerts that are hooked up time and time and time again by court rulings telling right. them that they're full of shit? Only for them to keep on refiling, it's they they're never like, going to learn. Like no. even even when they make an injunction that says you can no longer file paperwork and they still file paperwork. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, it's just an insanity to me. Like, that's why I put it in the title of my video today. They cannot learn. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. You have business here. You have business I'm here? exercising my first amendment rights here. Okay, so you don't but that's not business. That is that's not business. business. It's not business. So yeah. Well, back until I'm gonna go get a public records request then. Now that you're telling me that, yeah, I'm gonna public records request. Yeah. yeah. What's, your name, what's your name, boss? You'd like to be all those cops, wouldn't you? You'd be nice, wouldn't that be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this <laughs> cop. I like that guy. Captain, right there, and that's my lieutenant. So we got two supervisors here. <laughs> oh. oh. Being trespassed from public property. <laughs> yes. You, you got the you captain and the lieutenant there. Were, yes. Really? I didn't create a disturbance. Y'all came to me. I was minding my own business. Oh my god, really? Act That's their suspicious. job. That's their job is to come to you, dumbass. Yeah. I mean, when they see you doing something weird, they're going to investigate. Yep. And we'll probably let you go. There's no reason for you to create this into a big old mess. But he does. But he does, yeah. He does have a reason. Taco Josh, you're my new best friend. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey. Yeah, fuck you, Tina. Taco Josh is my new oh. producer. Damn. You're fired. Yeah. Wow. All right. Night, everybody. Night. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> yeah, but if I leave, so does the stream. Well, yeah. Fair. So we'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll talk yeah, tomorrow. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Vertical. Yep. Vertical video. It'd be a lot easier to My pocket, bro. Okay, See now, now he now, wants to ID. He's touch me. Yeah. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. There it is. See how fast that switches. Guys, I'm with being him? arrested. Yep. For you gotta, yep. Give him an Ohio driver's license. My Nebraska ID is right there. My Nebraska, Nebraska ID, ID is right there. Okay. I'm just asking you. Do you have your Do not license? let my money fly, bro. He can't wait to ID as soon as uh, he oh, starts yeah. getting arrested. Yep, exactly. Do you see what he was arrested for? He can't transfer him from a public facility. Okay. Yes, yes, yes they, they can. can. <sighs> Frustrating that they keep saying that. I make probably a video twice a week sometimes of people getting trespassed from public property. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's frustrating as fuck that they keep saying it. Bro, do not let my money fly, dude. Bro, we heard pick up you. my money. It is exactly Bro, the same money, thing man. as yeah. when they say, flat earthers say the horizon doesn't rise to eye level. No yeah. matter how many times I show them that they're wrong, they still say it. Right. You already violated my first fourth member right. My first member right. No, they haven't. None of your rights have been violated, dude. None of them. Violated my rights, then. You're three dollars. Yeah. He's very attached to that three dollars he got. See, he does that every <laughs> single time. Yeah. Actually, he carries a fair bit of money money on him because he plans to have to pay bail. Oh, I've heard him say surprised. that. I've heard him say that. Yeah, but he doesn't have a hundred and ten thousand dollars on him. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> That's one, that would be one fat billfold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd have to carry a briefcase with all his money. <laughs> yeah. The one with the with the handcuffs that he's in yeah. the briefcase. Oh my god, that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. With bail written across it. Who funds this building, by the way? You know? This this building right here. Who funds it? This is my just in case box. <laughs> or a big sack with a dollar. Do you hear him? Do you hear yeah. him? Yeah, I hear him. What's he saying? Who funds oh, this oh, building? Yeah. yeah. You said Not he's asking him. who funds this building, and, but he's like the the cop is trying to explain it, trying to explain basic stuff to him. Of course, right? right. You're not you're not going to yeah, get. Go back, go back, go back like ten seconds. Uh, you can hear the cops answer. 
Right here, who funds it? Taxpayer? It's um, it's either at the depending on how it continues to go, it's trespassing and inducing panic because he's got everybody. These people couldn't even come to their vehicles because he, the way he was acting, they try to communicate mm -hmm. with him. He reaches behind his back like he's going to get a gun. No, to I the officer. Yeah, no, see now, Paul. Like, isn't that a whole separate thing? Like, if you're putting me in fear to where I can't yeah. go to my own car. Like, uh, like they said, inducing panic, like that no. in and of itself is a charge. Just that you're being so weird around my vehicle that I'm afraid to go to it. I like, think that's a charge in and of itself. Like menacing, right? Something like that. Could be. Like I, I would say, so you're depriving me of my property. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of what that would end up as, but yeah, it sounds like it would be something There's like that. There's a charge there, definitely a charge. Mm -hmm. So when yep. all was going on, so obviously he's created Andy's okay. videotaping for some reason are the entire building, and we're not it's sure not why. It's not illegal to film the entire building, is it? It is when it's a security. This is a jail, and this is a problem. Oh, That's wow. A problem. Is there a trespassing sign here? Oh, the Mansfield Prison. I know that place. I, I haven't been there personally, unless it's CRC. It be CRC. As a lawyer, I've been there. But, not but he, <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, uh, we sh we're sure you never stayed the night there. Uh, yeah, no. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. No, okay. The CRC is in Orient. Okay, so I haven't been in Mansfield. I don't have clients in Mansfield. It very well be that it's legal for him to take pictures of the prison from public property from a sidewalk, mm -hmm. but doing so, you're go and doing the doing the actions that you're doing is going to raise suspicion. It's going to cause somebody to come out there and say, "Hey, what's going on?" Exactly. And if you're completely acting the way you're acting, it's only going to escalate the situation further because the cops or the sheriff's officers are looking at you filming, and you're not giving any sort of way of de-escalating a situation by telling right, you who you but, are, what you're doing. Yeah. So what uh, are you already, expecting? You, you, you're AFK, but uh, what the cop was saying is the the people that wanted to get in that, that, um, that truck that he was next to, they wouldn't go to the truck because he was acting so weird and acting as if he had a weapon. So they were saying that that was... Um, a charge. Um, inducing inducing a panic is the word. Inducing used, panic. Oh wow! You're right. So, but I'm thinking if he's acting so weird and pretending like he has a weapon, and I can't go to my own vehicle because I think there's like a crazy person with a gun next to it, you're depriving me of my property. So, in my mind, that's a charge in and of itself. Like a burglary? No. Well, I, I no, I wouldn't call it burglar. I, I don't know what I would call it. We will have that ask the lawyers but it's got to be something like you can't burglary. just you can't just keep me from i want to look up what he's actually i'm trying to see if richland county has but I, th a, wait, uh, I think somebody sent me the list of his charges give me a second the chris chris hap in in the chat says being weird is not a crime you nazis I'm not no, saying nobody said that. Not say, oh, nobody said saying that. being weird is a crime. Nobody you said that. <laughs> Thank what's you. going to be what's happening here? I, I let me try to explain this to you. Acting Moral. weird, acting uh, very uh, obstinate to police who are asking what's going on is only going to raise further suspicions. And if you and if Floyd is going to keep acting the way he's acting, then the cops are going to. Probably investigate further, put people in, and then they're probably going to make sure that they get you out of the property. As in, because he tried to run away from the truck yep. as soon as the sheriff's officers ran over there. But, right. he, but 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 he was already on the property still by the time that they arrived. So congratulations. They want him trespassed because he was right. on the property. But he wouldn't give his name. Therefore, they they had they were able to arrest him for for trespass <laughs> right. because he wouldn't give out his information. So let 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 let's let's think what, about this. Uh, what's his the, last guy, name? the guy that just called us Nazis. You're yeah. you're you're wanting to enter your neighborhood. 
Um, so you're in your car, you're driving up the road and you're about to turn into your neighborhood, but I'm sitting there on public property with an A1M1 main battle tank, Abrams main battle tank, and it's pointed at you and you're like, fuck that. I'm not going to drive any further. Is that okay? I mean, I'm on public property. Mm. I've just got an A1, uh, you know, M1 Abrams main battle tank with the turret pointed at you. Like I'm not doing track. anything wrong. Uh, we, being being weird, you know, being that that's not illegal. I'm I'm a little bit weird. I like to drive around in an Abrams main battle tank. Can we can we mark down Godwin's law on our bingo cards? Right, probably because he called us Nazis. Yeah, Godwin's yeah. law. Yeah, it. it Schrodinger, it's in that thing I sent you this morning with him, uh, Floyd in jail. Oh, the little short video of him in jail. Yeah, there's a I'm list of charges underneath it. I'm not finding anything on. I don't want to bring it up because that might be. Um, was it in Discord? Copywritten music. Yeah. Is that a little oh short? yeah, it 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 did it did have copywritten music in it. Yeah. Um, let I can me... bring it up muted if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Br bring it up muted. Okay. Um. It's kind of cute. It I, I, did, I didn't. I didn't realize that that was um, new charges. So I was just like, oh, that's cool. Why am I hearing it twice? Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry, guys. Um, where are we? Let me stop this one. Bring up the cute little short. What's this? Okay, there we go. I can't believe some of these people that just their their logic, the logic center in their brain is broken, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. they can't understand the difference between being weird. And scaring someone so bad that they won't even go to their own car. Yeah. Aggravated menacing. Three counts. Criminal That's trespass. Aggravated menacing. Four counts That's... of aggravated criminal trespass. Yeah. Yeah. Those all sound legit based on what we just watched. Yeah. I agree. But I mean, true. thank is, you, Teresa, for making but me. Now, does it say, I, I couldn't see it. Does it say whether or not they're misdemeanor? Uh, misdemeanor. I'm looking at the statue right now. Aggravated menacing is a misdemeanor of the first degree. If the victim of the offense is an officer or employee of a public children's service agent or a private... Yeah, yeah. It says Mansfield Mansfield Municipal Court. Aggravated menacing is felony for first degree. If the, offender previously, if the offender has previously been convicted or pleaded guilty to an offense of violence, the victim of the prior offense was an officer or employee. It's yeah. a felony of the fourth degree. Um, so they probably were because it was a it, jail. The the amounts go, I think, I believe it says 30, 30, 35, 35, 30. Total so, one time. Sorry, Floyd, you're, you're pretty fucked because, I mean, yeah, all, the, all, those, all those felonies and I bet you all of your friends are now going to just ghost. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We know we'll have a giant fundraiser for his bail. Hmm. Yeah, Shocked, I know. Is they it, will they pocket the money. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, no. we couldn't raise enough for him, so forget it, and then they'll keep it. Oh no. Yeah, and then they don't send it back. Like we only raised ninety thousand. Oh, so sorry. One, sorry. Two, three, four. They don't five, actually. Five menacing, and two criminal trespass. It looks they like. don't actually list the. Uh, level of offense on this Can website. you go by the amount they charge for it? No? That's no. up to the judge, kind of. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It, said that it was in front of a magistrate in the court, I mean, which is not any different. I mean, it is, but it's it's not. Oh, here. Um, three I'm only seeing five up. charges here. Uh, Richland County is, or, um, is sheriff is the arresting um... Yeah, it's just, all she's giving me is the booking date is five, seven sixteen, and it's aggravated menacing one two three four five times and criminal trespass. That's all they have on here on the charge sheet. Mm. But yeah, I mean, if there's if there's a silver lining to this, um, he's not going to miss a single day of work. No. <laughs> Shut up. Please. Yeah, I just got the same from um, Road Pirate. Thank you, Road Pirate too. Um, right. I, okay, guys, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta jet. I'm oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna already head off here soon too. Yep. I gotta, I gotta hook up the thing that's saving my life right oh, now. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs>
so yeah, selfish. I, gotta, I know. I got to eat dinner. So I gotta, uh, me too, technically speaking. <laughs> technically. Oh, wow. <laughs> All uh, right. But thanks for having me on. I yeah, seriously. It. Thanks for having yeah. me on, as always. These are fun as hell. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll probably wrap, I guess, As soon. As super chats and stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do the super chats. And, bye, Artie. Thanks, bye, Schrodinger's. Bye, bye, Cliff, bye Taco. Bye, bye. Marvel. Bye, thank, you. thank you so much, and fuck cancer. Take Be care. well. Yeah, yeah, fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. Thank you. That was that was very sudden. Well, no, I, I already said when he came in that he had to leave soon. Yeah. Okay, so super chats. All right. All right, so Ryan Smith, two dollars, no message, thank you. Michael Kraus, four ninety nine. I could never meet PayCal, PayPal cow patty. I might get charged with the first ever fat guy making a fatter guy cry. <laughs> Cute. I, like Ryan, it. I, I bet he would cry. Like if you just oh, like yeah. just open hand smack him in the face, like that I, teenager did. Yeah. Well, no, that that was um, that was Glenn. No, no, no. no. no a teenager no. actually hit Patty. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah, I can never he, find the video, to, but he said yeah. something to his mom. Yeah, I'm still looking for it too. Yeah, I've seen it though. Uh, I Ryan, could, I, I could imagine a teenager would easily be able to beat up Patty. Hell yeah! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ryan Smith for five dollars says, "Does Artie really have an OnlyFans?" No, no, no he doesn't <laughs> not. it's a, it's a open, it's a, it's a joke. Like we. It's yeah. all it, it's Anti all about feet. Yeah, it's friendly. A, yeah, he he has a foot fetish. Uh, well, only fans. <laughs> no, he fans. doesn't. No, he does not. He doesn't actually <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Apparently, some people believe it. Yeah, Patrick, because they're searching for it, they can't find it. They want the link. <laughs> yeah, Patrick McKee for five dollars says people need to play copyrighted music while the fraudsters are filming. That's yes. happened a lot recently. Like some of the cops are getting wise to that. Um, it's maybe just talking to OPT and, and Artie and Natalie and everybody else. It might be legally t tenuous for, for them to do, to do it. Yeah. But for us, no, no, for, for us. Yeah. I would, I would just walk over, stand right next to the cop and just blast it. Yeah. 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 Where there was somewhere where a cop did actually get in trouble for, yep. uh, yeah, for blasting music. Yeah, but if, if you see a cop with a, some frauditors, just go over there and just do a good crank, crank up some yeah. Metallica because yeah. Lord knows Metallica will copyright Hell everything. Yeah, they will. RuPaul, any of them. Yeah, just just mm -hmm. crank it up, stand next to the cop, and be like, "I got you, bro." Yeah. Uh, Green Mile for five dollars says, "Hold up, stop hating on Texas." Love you guys from Austin. We love Texas. Texas. Oh, dude, Lord knows. I, I, I almost moved to Texas when I retired from the Navy. He says, love you guys. So Love he, you. He got over it. <laughs> uh, Michael Krause for four ninety nine says, I do. I, I do not consent to you giving me a gun. It violates my first, fourth, and 18th Amendment rights. <laughs> I do not recognize your maritime jurisdiction. <laughs> I don't even off the top of my head remember the 18th Amendment. I gotta look it up real quick. What is the 18th Amendment? Oh, I feel like such an um, idiot right now. 18th. I, oh, Jesus, Lord. Is it, that the one that sets forth the oh, secession of power? Wait a second. Very important. Mrs. Schrodinger's cat. Well, got stuff to do. Good, oh, good, that's good night the... to everyone. Hey, good job, Schrodinger's cat. Thank it's you, Mrs. Um, cat. That's the. Uh, uh, one about alcohol. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I I have a bottle from Prohibition era um, empty, obviously. Um, it has N. Corbo, that's my last name, is my family's soda business. Yeah. Soda, soda of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or as we call it here, pop. We're, in the South, we call it Coke. No matter what it is. It's, yeah, it's I, I've, heard, I've that. heard that. It's yeah. so yeah. weird. Go ahead. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, Great Big Rands for $5 says Pacific Northwest audits went back to the same post office and he was thrown out within 30 seconds of the police showing up. Good. 
Good for them. Oh, is that what PNW means? I believe so. Yeah. I was, I was, I was convinced that it means probably never works. <laughs> well, yeah, it could have a dual meaning, I guess. Yeah. Um, Chuck M for two dollars says, "Why did you give attention to a troll?" Which one? Uh, which one? Uh, the guy that was calling us Nazis, I guess. Oh, because it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. We have fun with it. I I I don't have problems with the trolls. Like they they feed the channel. So when they come mm -hmm. in and they're in there and they're causing trouble, and then all of the subscribers that are in the chat go to war with them. That's just more and more and more comments that are being generated and that just feeds the algorithm. So, you know, the, the people in the comment section have a good time because they're battling some dumbass that's saying stupid shit. And so, no, I've got no problem with it. That's why I don't like when, um, you know, they get timed out and banned and deleted and all that. Like, let them come in here and just feed the algorithm. Cool. I concur. I concur At with least your concern. Until they break a rule. Yeah, well, uh, my rules are pretty clear. Everybody already knows yeah. sex is mm -hmm. bigoted, homophobic, you know, threats of violence. It's pretty simple. It's like five things. Yep. All right. So, Silent Citizen, $1, no message, thank you. And Inflatable KMH, $5, no message as well, thank you. And that looks like it for now all right um i don't have anything else tina do you got something you want to bring up or talk about or look at or did you have something else wait a minute i thought you had something else you want to look at do, 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 do. Hmm. while she's thinking i was gonna say like when i was working at tsa we would have like courses on you know behavioral things with suspicious movements and identifying them, you know, in like the levels that would bring Omaha hits like every single like right. obvious, yeah. obvious one. It's like he watched the video and was like, okay, I'm going to do every single one. Yeah. Um, when I went, when I went to search and seizure school, they called those pre-assaultive behaviors. It's okay. like the things that you that that people typically do when they're about to assault you, like suddenly, like they do, um, you know, just odd behaviors that, as a culmination of all those behaviors together, you're about you, you could you need to be pretty concerned that this person's about to attack me. You know, they're they're blading their body mm -hmm. you know, so that they're sort of sideways to you. They're sort of acting weird, saying weird things, doing furtive movements with their hands. Um, he does all of those. Like he he clicks every box, and and he's doing it on purpose. So I yeah. don't really have any sympathy for him anymore. At first, I did because I was like, he's not the brightest dude in the world, and I think we can all agree that he's not. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's his friends that convinced him to do these things or whatever, but um, at this point, he should know by now. So many people have reached out to him. I know people that have talked to him one-on-one -on -one and tried to get him to stop doing these things, like people that have his best interest in mind. And at some point, you just got to be like, okay, well, then we're just going to stand back and watch the show. And that, that's the point where I'm at right now. Yeah. Because you can only try so much. I can't find I thought we had something, but unless somebody in the chat wants anything, no. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got another 30 minutes or so in me if somebody wants to suggest something. But other than that... There was that armed fisherman guy. And um, uh, if you search back up in our DM, that other crazy new guy, the God Pill, I think. But other than that, no. The God, God Pill? I've got about 15 minutes, but. Yeah, I, 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 let's just pack it in. I'm good. Okay. So, um, Taco Josh, thank you very much. You you actually gave us another, you know, we, we probably would have been wrapped up by now, but you re reinvigorated the show. So, <laughs> um, 
the man yeah. of the hour. Say what you got to say. By the well, way, I put Taco Josh's link in the chat. So, thank you. Well, thank you for that, Cliff. Uh, yeah. Thank you for having me on. It was great to be with all you guys. Yeah. Shorter, and, I've been. A, oh, go, sorry. sorry. No, go ahead. Shorter, I've been. You know, obviously watching you for a long time. So finally getting to be on a panel with you. I think this is the second time. You know, it's an honor. No, oh, thank you. Thank you. you know, Cliff and Marvel Girl, you know, I love both of you guys, too. Yep. Plug your channel and what yeah, do you got coming Wendy, up? And all yeah, because I, I watched him for a little while the other day, and he's really – he does a great job. So, uh, so uh, my channel is called Taco Josh Gaming. I do uh, video game streams. Uh, right now, I'm starting Uncharted 2. And we're going through the whole Uncharted series. It's kind of like Indiana Jones. But it's a nice relaxing thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to interact with the chat while I'm playing and narrating. just have fun. Yeah, it's yeah, narrating and having fun with the chat. And, you know, it's low key. Everyone's welcome and it's no drama or anything like that. Very good. I uh, appreciate you. Coming what on. What time? And... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What time? Oh yeah, no, go ahead. Oh, uh, usually I, I there's one at six a.m. I know that's early for a lot of people. Central, and then I'm gonna be start doing uh, a two p.m. Central starting up this week, hopefully. Oh, yeah, then, then I can get there because it'll be like when I'm awake. Right. Oh, we got just chat. before like. It's just before like radicals and uh, mm -hmm. everyone else's stuff. Yeah, we got a few. Oh yeah, so super chats. Okay, well, first thought uh, is, is is that everything you wanted to say, Taco? Yeah, that's everything. Okay, well then let's do those and then we'll we'll wrap with uh, outros from the rest of us. All right, so Silent Citizen again for dollar. Thank you. A freighter for five dollars says, "I've been accused by a soft set of being a communist and a Nazi in the same jailhouse call." <laughs> right, those Ooh. two things are mutually exclusive. <laughs> yeah, usually. <laughs> uh, Paracord Princess for five dollars says, "Went camping and kayaking this weekend and learned about port and starboard." Yeah, so port is left and starboard's right if you're facing forward. And um. And I, I love the the name uh, Paracord. That is some of the most most awesome. Uh, so it, we, we call it in the military five fifty cord because it's rated at five hundred fifty pounds, and um, it's pretty cool stuff. I love me some Paracord. So, like, do you really take it apart and use each piece? No, 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 no. It's it's parachute cord, but it's rated at, at so a strand of it is rated at. 550 pounds so it'll hold you know a 550 pound load um so but it's, it's just it comes in spools i mean you can get it at walmart yeah because i was but, um there's a channel that does different things with it like it teaches you to make different weavings out of like a monkey claw yeah thing. yeah yeah that's what that's what the navy is known for is we make all kinds of nonsense out of it i don't know how to do all that stuff just because that's not the route that i went in the right. navy but like somebody like a bosun's mate can make all kinds of crazy stuff out of paracord. My question, I, wasn't there, isn't there some kind of cord or something that you can, if you're in a survival situation, you could take it apart and use each strand? Is a that paracord, yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. That? Okay, okay. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's made of strands inside, and you, you can pull out the individual strands and do stuff with it. I don't know, um, like, each individual strand, what it's rated at, but... Okay. I, I like, imagine you could. You like make a raft or something. <laughs> you tie it with it. If, if you're, cool. if you're, um, you know, uh, shit. What was his name? MacGyver. Like maybe. Right, yeah. 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 That and a stick of bubble gum. You got yourself a cruise ship. <laughs> oh, you do make bracelets and keychains, paracord. I want to talk to you about that because I want yeah, to start yeah, doing you, that stuff. Yeah, you. Uh, the bracelets are neat pretty pop well keychains too so what it is is you got you got this bracelet that's like 
50 well, feet of, yeah. of paracord. And so if something happened and you ever needed some rope, then it's on your wrist. Same, yeah. same with the keychains. I think the keychains are like 25 feet or something like that. Yeah, this guy that I watch makes like um, grit things to put on your cast iron skillet yeah. or paracord or on your uh, book bags, anything. Yeah, um, I've, I've got a, a go bag. Like pretty much every military guy's got a go bag. Um, and I've got probably 200 feet of paracord inside my bag. Just rolled up or? No, it was. And, and, and it, and, the package that it came in. Oh, okay. Because that was going to make you something. And I was like, oh, he's already got it. No, no, you could do that too. I mean, you can never have enough of it. The stuff's great. Like those monkey claws. That's a that's a legitimate weapon, right? That, a what? That's the monkey claw. It's like a steel ball wrapped oh, in it. Wrapped in it. Yeah, well, it's, it's a piece of lead. Like you can just use a, a um, fishing weight, you know, go to, go to Walmart and buy some fishing weights. And then wrap it in in paracord. Yeah, you yeah. smack somebody in the head with that, and they're pretty much done. Okay, that's what I thought he was making. Monkey's fist. Thank you. Monkey's fist. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I want to make one of those. All right. Sorry, Cliff. Who, who are you planning uh, on killing? Aiming T? Yeah, really. Uh, no, <laughs> I just, no, because it makes you can do smaller ones, and you could have it in um. It's a keychain. That's all. That's all. I, I just rescinded that's my meant... invitation for you to come visit. Shut up. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Cliffy. Oh all right, God. one more super chat. Inflatable KMH for five dollars says, "Will we ever see the end of fraud editors and soft sets, or will we be stuck with them for life?" I, I think, anywhere. like uh, the the anti mask Karens, like there's a shelf life on them. Because you know, as soon as this whole thing is done, mm -hmm. and they're done, um, but soft sits, I think, are here forever and ever. I think, as far as First Amendment auditors, I think they're going to be legislated into oblivion. Because what about um, Moors, they're, I guess, they're probably all just going to go to jail, <laughs> you know. But I mean, there's, there's probably a ten to one ratio of uh, first member auditors to Moors. There's, there's not a lot of Moors, but I think um, state and state and local legislatures are just, they're, they're sick of this, of these auditors and their mm -hmm. nonsense. So they're just going to make laws that when you're doing this nonsense, the cops just show up and hook you up and you're gone. And then their videos just become them getting arrested over and over and over. And there's no financial incentive anymore. So, I think they've got a shelf life maybe of a couple of years, which means there's a shelf life on my channel unless I pick something else after they they start to die off. So Let me ask we'll you a see how that goes. I have a question. Do you think the Moors are an offshoot of like the Black Panther Party? Um, I know in religion they call it a schism. It's like when a religion branches off um, like the, the Protestants, they became, you know, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, all this other stuff. Um, I think they're all sort of like that. They're like tangentially related, but the Moors are the age. I mean, they're definitely sort of like the black power thing. So yeah, I guess I'd say yes. Yeah. Like yeah. black separatists and stuff. Okay. Someone in the chat says no because Moors don't think they're black. This is true. Well, they say that, but they're they very... don't practice that. Right. Yeah. So true. Silent Citizen Super Chat. Yeah, I got a couple. George Romero for five dollars says I've been babysitting my grandson and this playing at the premiere when the music came on. I'm a solid citizen, dude. Okay. Yay. Cool. Uh, Silent Citizen for $5 says, have you made a video about me, Schrodinger's cat? No. I, I, Do you I'm, want him to? I'm sorry, but I don't know who you are. He's a predator. I, I know there's um, there's like what called Silent Boy Films. There's one called... There's He's a predator. Huh? Yeah, no, no. I, I'm, I'm fine with it. 
have you done something so stupid that you would raise my ire? If so, send me a link to it. Yeah. If you're just out there filming the cops and you know, I got no issue with you. Yeah. You my just film, just ego. Uh, I, I film, I film stupid. I don't film like people that are just doing some stuff. Wait, somebody saying we actually did. You actually did. I mean, Oh, may, may, maybe I did. If so, then sorry, uh, but you're a dum dum, because that's the only way you end up on my channel is if you're a dum dum. Yeah. So. Yeah, I can't... It, it's like like that one video when the, the guy's in the doctor's office, and the doctor like opens up his chart, and he's like, oh, "I'm I'm sorry, um, you're retarded." And he's like, <laughs> he, he, he's like, he's like, he's like, no, I'm not. And it's like, yeah, it says, it says right here, all of your tests came back and, and, and you're retarded. So that's sort of like the test. Like if you end up as the subject of one of my videos, it's sort of like me coming to you in a white lab coat and being like, I'm, I'm so sorry to break the news to you, but it, you, you're retarded. <laughs> I'm so I, I don't know why it's so funny to me, but it is. So uh, I'm sorry, silent, uh, silent citizen. Um, Carmen wants to know what mores are. Um, oh, boy. they're they're the opposite of viewers. Shut up. See what I did there? Yeah, I do. And it's dumb. <laughs> sorry, you're dumb. So mores are conspiracy theorists that. They're sovereign citizens who think that they were here before the European um, uh, conquerors. So I they prefer, think they're indigenous. They, yeah. Well, they, they think they proceed. Even Indian, Native Americans. Yeah. Yeah. They, they think that they are the original inhabitants of the U.S., but somehow, <laughs> <laughs> but somehow, in fact, in spite of the fact that they were here before anybody else, they're also Moroccans. Yeah. And so, they didn't develop any kind of government before us. Right. So um, try to yeah. wrap your brain around that. Good luck with that. Yeah. All right. Well, Super Chats keep rolling in. Um, That's Dr. Dr. Sarah for five dollars says, "I've been watching this and just realized it's live. Love your work and the research. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lo love your work and the research put into it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Whoa! For some reason, that tickled Marvel girl. Uh, yeah, don't. That's what I would do. That's all. I, I, that's what I was gonna say. It's like, yeah, like she's been on a submarine for like eight months, and she's like, there's no windows." Oh, shut up! What's going on? Go ahead. Uh, AZ the Kid for two ninety nine says, thanks for all your entertainment and common sense. <laughs> Thank you. That's the honestly the only thing that I really try to bring to the table mm -hmm. is, is a little bit of common sense. Oh, look at this cutie. Here you go. Oh. Scott. I don't know what that is. AED. I'm going to look it up right now. It is oh, Arab, Arab, Arab Emirates Durham. That's why I figured. Yeah. So, oh, Lord knows oh. I've spent so many Durham in my day. <laughs> yeah. You like um, the Middle East, right? I, I, oh, I've, I've, yeah. I've been, I've been all over the Middle East. Uh, Khalid, where, where exactly? Uh, just put it in the chat and we'll, we'll, we'll dig it out. But where exactly are you at? Like, are you in. Uh, Dubai or somewhere around uh, Khalid El Kazimi for 100 Arab Emirates Durham. Love the stream. Wish you'd stream more, Shorter Years Cat. So do I. I get paid for it. I <laughs> like one once a week is the, the best that I can really do at this point, you know, with my job and everything. Yeah. So, and, and especially like trying to come up with topics, that's basically what tina and i do during the week is uh oh dubai yeah i'd love dubai 
I um, want to go so bad. I really oh, the the mall there. They have a mall that actually has a ski slope in in the mall. Get out. Yep. Not like kidding. No. Well, well, it's it's artificial snow, yeah. but it's wow. like it. Yeah, it it it's snow, and um, also the Burj Khalifa is there. That's right. the tall the tallest building in the world, um, which also proves that the Earth is a globe, mm -hmm. because. During yeah. Ram during the holy month of Ramadan, um, the sun rises and sets at different times at the bottom and the top yeah. of the Burj Khalifa. So the fast begins and the fast breaks at mm -hmm. different times, whether you're on the bottom or the top. And there's restaurants throughout the hotel. So the restaurants open and close mm -hmm. at different times based on where you are in the tallest building in the world. Um, yeah, I love me some, some, some Dubai. So it, which, which one is not the bird. What's the one that the floors turn, the, not just the top, but all the floors turn is near the, the Burj. Oh, it's the only one that collapsed. I don't know. It's like they took windows on the world and made it into a complete building. I was, I was thinking of the, um, the Space Needle. <laughs> no, but these but the, the actual floors turn, and they don't do all do it at the same time. Oh no! I, I, it's I, really I cool. It's like a corkscrew. No idea. Maybe Dynamic Tower Hotel. Thank you, honey. All right. All right. We got three more. LED for five dollars says between that giggle and SC's comments, this live has made my weekend. <laughs> Um, awesome. Mike, Mike Engels for five dollars. Hello, Mister Cat, and everyone. Keep up the good work. Y'all are the best. Uh, thank you very much. I couldn't do it without the dynamic team that I have here. Oh, oh, thanks. Um, and from Silent Citizen, mm -hmm. two dollars. How can AMG call me a frauditor? She simple. may have you mixed up with somebody else. Maybe may, are you actually a, a frauditor or? He's an he's an auditor. He thinks he's yeah. Well, they none of them like that term. Well, yeah, but I mean, honestly, if you're just harassing people that are just trying to make a living and, uh, let, you know, just own it. But Danny answers him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just uh, because you're a frauditor, simple answer. Um, you have never once done an audit. Uh, you guys do it for the clicks and for eBags while saying that you're protecting our First Amendment rights. And, you know, and I, I'm constantly, uh, of course, I think I'm blocked on every auditor's channel. So they never see my comments. But I see these, these um, you know, videos where they just go in. And there's like some 70 year old grandma there and they just screw with her. And then the cops come and, you know, either mm -hmm. you know, do the right thing or the wrong thing. And then they declare victory. And I'm like, what, what did that do for the first amendment? Like, what exactly. did that do? What, what are you, what are you doing here? Like in the military, we, we have a, 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 a process like we figure out what do you want to achieve and then what are you going to do to achieve it? And then you go through a process of figuring out are the things that I want to do <laughs> going to actually achieve the goal. And, and then, you, you know, you do, you do a matrix on like is, you know, uh, uh, the likelihood of success and all those things. I, Auditors don't do that because everything that they do is counterintuitive to achieving the goal of increasing uh, the access to the First Amendment. All they're doing is pissing people off and making them want to go to the legislature mm -hmm. and say, what are you going to do to crack down on these idiots that are filming me when I'm in the post office? Right. And they're, they're not asking, what are you doing to help the First Amendment? Mm -mm. You know, because guess uh, guess what? All of you guys are unemployed, broke people. And, and 
doing and, more to harm the cause than help it. Right. So you're aggravating employed people who actually do pay taxes. Mm -hmm. And when they go to their local legislator and say, what are you going to do to fix this? They're more concerned with the actual person that pays taxes and is going to get them reelected than you guys. Right. So you're acting at cross purposes with what you say that you want. Yeah, I would like to go up to every one of them when they're getting arrested saying, now, what did this do for the First Amendment? Exactly. Like, you know, it's sort of like the guy that um, I, I had the video of the, of the sovereign citizen that the cop walks up and he's got the dog. And he tells the guy, he's like, I swear to you with every fiber of my right. being that I'm going to break this window and I'm going to send this 110 pound dog in. <sighs> And I'm going to drag you both out and you're going to be arrested. And then that's sitting there. Exactly what he did. And then he goes up to him as the guy's laying there bleeding, bleeding handcuffed. And he says, what did I tell you was going to happen? Yeah. The guy that, literally didn't believe who they were going to do it. That's what I want to say to all these first amendment auditors. When all of this legislation comes down that is at counter purpose mm -hmm. to what they actually say that they want. I just want to go to each and every one of them and say, what did, what did, what did you think was going to happen? Because I'm telling you right now, that's what's going to happen. This guy. All right. There's another question though. To answer this one, serious question about orders. Are there legit orders that follow procedure and checklist? Yes, there are. There's a few. There are few and far between. Mm -hmm. Nobody watches them because Let's be honest. Right. Just going out and let's film a traffic stop, put it up on your channel. It gets 10 views. Nobody cares. Like, and right. it, you're never going to end up on my channel because I'm never going to, I'm never going to have a problem with you. I don't right. film auditors. I film frauditors. Right. And I call them auditors sometimes because that's what they call themselves. But I only, uh, produce videos about frauditors and sob sits and, right. uh, and and they're on the same spectrum. It's just a matter of degree. Cute doggy though. By the way. Well, I gotta go, but thank, thank you for you. having me. Yeah, we all do. It's, we just gotta. We're we're just wrapping it up. Yeah, yeah. take care, Jocko. Any yeah. more, hon? But yeah, it's a couple more. Oh Steve. wait, a second. before you do, oh, yeah. this guy's saying to check out the arm fisherman guy that I just mentioned. So yeah, I've, I've, I've already I've, okay. I've talked about him. Uh, I, I I can't I can't think of an angle to make a video about him because he's technically right. Like but he's an not, asshole and he's yeah. a dickhead, and he needs to fuck off uh, because he's exploiting a loophole. Yeah, but he's technically right. It's. Yeah. If for those who don't know, there's a law in Florida that if you're fishing, you could have a gun with you because you might need it if you're in the middle. Because that they, right. how do you just describe it? Well, the thing is that uh, depending where you are in Florida, you know, you could be out at a lake and there's wild boar and there's black bear and there's all sorts of manner of nonsense out there. So there's a lot of rural areas in Florida. So the way that the law is, if you're fishing because you are very likely in a rural area, you can have a firearm. So what this dickhead does is he straps on an AR and a cool. fishing pole and he doesn't fish he just goes to somewhere that you could possibly maybe if you wanted to fish like a beach with a whole fuck ton of people at it. And he just walks around yeah. and until, yeah. until somebody calls the cops. And then he's like, look at this fishing pole. And they're like, you have a fucking assault rifle and you know, a, a sidearm or something like that. And he's like, yeah, but look at this fishing pole. And then he tries to bait them into arresting him so that he can invoke this law and technically he's right, but he's exploiting a loophole. And again, he's working at cross purposes because guess what the legislature is going to do? They're, they're going to yeah. get rid of that loophole. They're going to say, 
outside of city limits only, you know, for this, for this law, or they're going to say you have to be, you know, so many miles outside of, um, you know, a populated area. So they're going to do something like that. So you guys that are exploiting these loopholes, all that the legislature is going to do is close them up. And, yeah, um, so we got the clip of the kid hitting PayPal Patty. Oh, yay. Nice. Do you want to watch it? Absolutely. I, I would love to see PayPal Patty get All hit. Right. Let me get it. Damien has it. Okay. In the I meantime, can't get to it. Can you click on it? Because from where I am, I can't do it. It won't let me in this thing. The stream yards. Can you give it to me? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, because the one I saw him at was a very, it looked like a private beach even. Okay, it's in the spot. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same one that I saw, but hey, I'll take any kid in any of them. I'm getting hungry though. Where is it? Um, attacked at Phoenix Housing. Okay. So he's at the Housing Authority where he shouldn't be. Yeah. I, oh, tell me if you can hear this. Yep. Okay. Are they slow? Are they rude? Are they polite? You're not. You're rude yeah. and you're so slow, so. It's a crazy sign, guys. It says restricted area, but he says it's not, so... Right. Who are you going to leave? Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they show all the signs. I don't want to be on film. Will you work here? I hate him so much. Yeah, I mean, these people are, I mean, that's a noble job that they're doing. Absolutely. You know, you want those people to be around if somebody that you love needs their services. And do you want this tubby little piece of shit in there fucking with them? Absolutely not. He's going to need them someday if he doesn't already use it. <laughs> why are you doing that? Hey, why are you doing that? Mind your business. Mind your business. Wow. Yeah, they can't be showing these people because who wants to broadcast that they're at the housing authority? You know, they have it's hard enough to need these these things for help. I've been there. It's not your proudest moment. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh no, I I agree, and that these that's what makes them so reprehensible. Yeah. And yeah. he does it for a little bit of PayPal money, like it's and it's, shits and giggles. Yeah, drives me up the fucking wall. Because you know he's getting a you know that baby boner from you know being mean to people no dick having we can't violate hipaa they can you guys can videotape yes you can violate hipaa they think they can't violate hipaa because they're what citizens? because they, they they think only the government can do it yeah that's bullshit this ain't a public fucking area he's trying to film through a window Oh. They ask, they call us over. That's all. I'd love to slam his head right up against yes. that door jam. Yes. No. We're with the media. We're doing it. No, you're not. Story. You're not. She's doing all Lying fuck. Mind your business. The media wouldn't talk to people like that. Oh, my God. Right. You're not a professional at all. Oh, my God. Sorry. My accent. I heard it that time. <laughs> I did. I'm sorry. Yeah, I heard it too. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
No, no, I apologize. It's funny. That's how angry they make me. He, it was getting too hot in there for him. I, I was thinking that. I was like, I, he just bailed and left he PayPal bailed, Patty yeah. inside. He said, mind your business as he walked out the door. The ladies with the walkers were about to descend on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is where this is definitely the one I know of. where Because PayPal Patty starts mouthing off to the guy's mom. Yep. And he comes over and hits him. That's why it's only an eight minute video. Because at that moment he starts crying for the cops. It's sort of like when um when Glenn, you know, got in deep water with that uh warrant officer and then all of a sudden he wanted the cops. Yep. So they're telling him you're violating HIPAA. Let's see if he says that to them. Thank you. Can't a security guard like physically remove him if he refuses to leave? I don't know. I wonder. I would if I were security. But that's me. I'll take the charge. That poor old lady right there with the walker. Yeah, it, it's fucked up. Like the most vulnerable people mm -hmm. in our society, and you're just gonna go fuck with them. And no, she, I'm sorry. Like the uh, 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 me, uh, 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 um, maybe I'm old fashioned, but as a man, mm -hmm. that's who you're supposed to be protecting, not who you're supposed to be fucking with. Yeah, and she's not that old, like maybe sixty. So needing a walker is not right. So I, I mean, I, yeah, just, just me as I sit here today with no police power at all. I'm pretty sure I'd drag his dumb ass out of there. Oh yeah, by the hair. And and just you know, I don't think a jury would convict me. No, I would. You know, I, I would uh, take a chance. Yeah, I, I I would take that chance. I would drag his dumb ass out of there. He's telling the other guy to calm her down. Oh, uh, that's oh. No, well, of course, because look what he, look how he talks to his wife. He's a misogynist. Mm -hmm. I would have slapped him by now. I'm sorry, I could not. And he's not. He's not even a man as it is. And no, he's not. No, he's not. Look at that he's, look. He's oh. not even half a man. He could be absolutely silent and just looking, seeing his face makes me violent. He's trying to shake his hand. <laughs> he wouldn't shake his hand. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Look yeah, I remember that tattoos. tall guy from the video. Look at those shitty tattoos. I bet he cried during the whole thing. <laughs> Class project? Look at that smug fucking look on his yep, face. Yeah, look at that fucking smile. The smirk. The guy's not even going back in. Did you notice that? Right, yeah. <laughs> Crazies? He calls them crazy. You have no expectation of privacy in public. Liar! Liar! Stop lying! Okay, oh wow! They have some nerve. No expectation of privacy in public for anyone. You're that afraid of a camera? Go home, close the blinds. 
Um, bullshit. Let's Oh, they are. Like I said, we're doing a video okay. tour of the facility. Okay. This is you have no right to do a video tour of the facility. Plain and simple. And what if everybody wanted to do a video tour? Mm -hmm. Could they actually function? No. Yeah. No, no, no. The, the purpose of the building is not to do video tours. It's to, to provide housing to people that otherwise wouldn't have housing. Right. It's it's called the housing uh, authority, not the video authority. Right. This guy has no time for him. Okay. We are out here educating not only the people, but the government. You're not educating people. shit, oh, bitch. You can't educate if you're ignorant. Mm -mm. Are allowed to come in and express their First Amendment right. And this is the First Amendment, freedom of press, freedom okay. of speech. You're not the press. We're allowed to come in and video. That's all it is. No. We're not here to get social security cards. Video, absolutely. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Okay. absolutely, sir. So if you did he, get a copy of the sign, what else did okay. you get? Okay. He didn't get any social security cards. I okay. didn't get any social security cards. I got my own social security card. Okay. These people are getting a little. He, I didn't get social, any social security cards. I got my own, so I don't get it. I think he's talking about he didn't film any. Okay. Riled yeah. up for nothing. And you understand that, I understand that, but this is all we're doing is videoing. It's education. Look, there's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Okay, so you videoed it. You said you want to sign or whatever. You got the sign. What else did you okay. Need? As the director, I would really like for you to inform your employees for future reference, because people do this all over the country. Someone else after me is probably going to do this. No. And you got another sign that's you got a, you got a sign that's misplaced. You see this sign right here? Whoever put this sign up, I don't know that if this is because homeless come in and loiter and solicit, but I can understand that that's why. But if that's what just happened, a homeless there. person came in and loitered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what just happened. Because he and that also means they can trespass you. It says no trespassing. Yeah, he just had a live stream the other day, uh, begging for money for hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. Yep. It, it is U.S. government property, but it's not an area that's restricted. So, so I'm okay. Come in and I'll appreciate it, guys. I like her. You're right. You're right. I was nowhere. I did not get your information. Everybody, why are you acting? Are you kidding me? No, no one's going to look at my video. No one's looking at my video. You know, I don't like my Bullshit. You're going to post it, you asshole. You're a liar. You are. I would be upset if you want to see my Zoom. Do you want to see my Zoom? Look at this. Look at this, director. Here comes. Here comes. I was probably at least this distance from her. Can I zoom in on it? I wouldn't care, but that's my Zoom. That's my Zoom. Full Zoom. You can't give a damn number. You're an idiot. Oh! Look at him! Look at him jump! These people are not having. Oh yeah, really? Hey! Look at him! He's backing up. Flail was hard. He was scared. One arm going after him, and he's scared. Love it. The people don't. Want you? The people have spoken. Classic. Yeah, and it, if that if that ever happens, and I'm on the jury, you're getting acquitted. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> I'll buy you dinner. Yeah. After I say not guilty, I'll After, buy you dinner. Absolutely. <laughs> Take you and your whole family. Battery. Right. Battery. Battery. Director, get you get the battery. 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 Yeah, it is. No, it ain't, because you're fucking assaulting us with your fucking camera. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love it. That's the way this is going to go. You can't just come in here and video take people. At that point, they are call, causing a public disturbance. Yeah, like absolutely. They caused all this. It was right. what, basically what that guy was, was, was trying to get at. That they came in, got everybody worked up, and they caused all of this. So right. they would get in trouble. Yep. So. They just assaulted him, so I hope the cops do show up. Oh, I hope they do come. We got video of it. Actually, you deserve it, so go ahead and call the fucking police. Because they're sitting there laughing, you fucking ass. We got the cops coming. All right. That's fine. We got video of that I got him assaulting him. So. We got video of it. Great. Okay, we'll wait for the police. And we'll for the police. It's, this is going to end. 
it's it's suspicious a lot of times uh, when these videos end. Yeah, they, he's saying it turned off to show the police. They never showed. Yes, they did show, and they didn't do anything. Yeah, a lot of times these videos end like right at the climax, you know, like this one. Yeah, because the cops did come. I I remember the other somebody else was videoing it, and they didn't do anything. Yeah, I I watch a lot of these. That it's like, um, they're they'll they'll be in like the post office or you know wherever some city building. They're like, I'm not leaving, and they're mm -hmm. you know, and then the, the cops show up and they're like, you know, we're gonna arrest you if you don't leave. And they're like, I'm not leaving. And then the video just ends. Yeah, it's like what? Like why did you even post that? Because you didn't even show. You know oh, it. Yeah. it it's like ballsy. I, I, I know some movies, uh, this happens where it's like, uh, right. It, it's very, very rare in Hollywood, but sometimes like you get right up to the like climax and the movie ends and everybody's like, what the fuck? And like mm -hmm. everybody in Hollywood is like, what did it, the, the movie What's just ended? And then, yeah. right. And, but these people do it on the regular. And I think it's because, However, it worked out, didn't feed their narrative. So they just cut that part out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they won't cut out 50 minutes of dead air, <laughs> but they'll cut out they'll cut out them getting like slammed to the ground by a sheriff's deputy. Oh my god, that's so true. Yeah. It, it's so frustrating to somebody like me that spends about three hours a day like dredging through mm -hmm. the the sub, you know, uh, the sewers of the internet first auditor community trying to find this nonsense and just video after video after video with clickbait titles. And I'm like, this is going to be the one. And then it's just like nothing. Yeah. Uh, it, it aggravates the fuck out of me. But on that note, it is. Super chats. Oh, yeah. Super chats. And then let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Steve, seventeen fifty eight for four ninety nine, says Schrodinger's cat. Can you use a forty five seventy cowboy? I found some. I sold my Springfield forty five seventy trap door. I will toss in a repo USA ammo pouch. Yes, oh, nice. I, I I have a forty five seventy. So yes, I could use tons of it. Uh, my PO box is in the description box. Yay! Cool. Email me. We'll work it out. Uh, Asher 1776 for five dollars says Silent Citizen is trying hard to get you to promote his videos on your yeah. channel. <laughs> uh, get get arrested and preferably tased, and I'll promote the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help. Uh, Florida Inspector General for five dollars. No message. Thank you. Uh, Caucasian Sensation for five dollars. People do this all over the country. Well, the running of the bulls is still a thing. Just because everybody does it does not mean it isn't stupid. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Big Al, $5 super sticker. Thank you. Um, Stephen Alley, $5. Says, with these videos ending right at the climax, I know how my girlfriend feels. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Self, self diss. Uh, but, but, he burned himself, yeah. Yeah. I didn't see that one. Oh, there it is. There you go. It's sort of like that joke. Like, how do you make a girl orgasm? Who gives a fuck? <sighs> yeah. Okay, then. All right. Well. <laughs> was that it? Was that it for this? Yeah, that's it for Super. I yeah. was expecting, like, something to buffer after I said, made that sexist yeah, no. comment. Sorry about Jesus that. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Um, How about if you're um, a taser, I'll be adding you to the scroll because um, I do it uh, every couple of weeks because if I did it every time, it'd be kind of crazy. So, yeah. Yeah, the, the scroll is for all my tasers, uh, channel mm -hmm. members. Um, I guess, Cliff, say what you want. All right. Uh, yeah, just as usual, I had a lot of fun in the stream. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, everyone, you know, have a great night. And I love you all. Take care. All right. Uh, Tina? 
Oh, as always, a pleasure. Yeah, and um, great. All right. Um, I don't know what my next week is going to look like because I don't know what the Navy is going to do with these this security badge uh, fiasco that I'm going through. So I may or may not be putting videos out each and every day for the next week as I sit here in this hotel room. Um, but we so, will have another stream next week. Um, I don't know what it's going to be about yet, or did we figure that out? I have a couple ideas. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll have a stream on Sunday unless I'm on an airplane, um, which is always a possibility. Hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll, um, we'll figure it out and stand by. If I put out a video tomorrow, that probably means that the Navy didn't figure out the whole security badge thing and that I'm still sitting in this hotel room. So... Uh, with that, good night, everybody. Night. Good night. night.